29 hours. I live streamed for 29 hours and the attempt on my life has left me scarred and deformed. I haven't felt this ill for a long time. Sleeping doesn't even help because I just end up waking up in more pain than when I went to sleep. My head is pounding with a migraine and has been since I pressed to end my live all those days ago now. And the dry cough that came with it all certainly isn't helping things. On top of that, my throat is swollen and irritated and I am very clearly losing my voice. Yeah, it's been good seeing you. And in case I don't see you again, well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. See you later, guys. Love you. Not just due to the live stream, however, but because after commentating for, again, 29 hours, I then had to go to work and do real-world adult things. That being having to teach literal fetuses how to kickbox. Oh, tomorrow will be my first day of pure realization in a long time. No one ever said playing Minecraft would be easy. And these 29 hours have taught me that even I have a limit to how much of this blocky little world I can take. If this asked me for things that I have already given it, just so we are both on the same page, I will be giving it a creative crate, because I am not sticking around for this bullshit. But I needed to do this. I had to soldier through these 29 hours, because coming out on the other side of things, I'd say it was all very worth it. So- so <laughs>
But along <laughs> with this schematic cannon, I also have in my inventory 9, 10, 11, 12 different schematics, okay? Each of these okay. being a segment of the area around our base. Today's job is to go is to basically go through all of them and have this bad boy build up our new base. Okay? Okay. So, the way this is going to work, I'm going to put the first schematic in here. And then I'm going to go to show printer settings. I'm going to keep replace solid with empty enabled. And I'm going to turn on protect tile entities. Next, we need gunpowder and we need a lot of it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some gunpowder from one of these chests over here. So, if we can just try and find some very quickly. I, oh, I found some. We've got a single gunpowder here. Yeah, there's three in this chest as well. Yeah, so, I'm just going to quickly nip into the condenser. Holy shit, that's a lot of bread. And I'm going to replace that bread with some gunpowder. I'm going to take the gunpowder with me. We're going to go back Christ over to the cannon. Well, you always complain about not having food. That's true. And I'm going to drop the gunpowder in the cannon, because gunpowder equates to shots in this case, okay? A stack gave us uh, 1,999 shots with a backup of 255 uh, no, 25,598. Okay, so that's how many shots we've got on a single stack of gunpowder. What we do now is we press play. Target and the away. target is too far away. So, what we do now is one of us runs over here to load the area that it's going to be firing in. And once the area is loaded, we then turn around and go back to the cannon. <laughs> No. Okay, it looks like we're moving the cannon, so I'm going to take the gunpowder and the schematic, and I'm going to move it closer. So if I put it down here, I then throw the first one in, I throw the gunpowder in, I then hit play. It's ready, and starting. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to start clearing out blocks, okay? So, if there are any blocks in the way, it's going to start clearing them out, it's going to delete those blocks... And then when it gets to blocks that it needs to place, it's going to place them. But this cannon currently doesn't have an inventory. So what we're going to do, we're going to surround it with chests. And then we're going to feed it the most common block it's going to need. Okay, which is dirt, grass, sand, and stone. Right? Okay. okay. So while this is clearing out the area... We need to go and collect those things. Now, we can obviously get dirt, sand, and stone pretty simply. It's the grass that we need to worry about, because as far as I'm aware, none of us have silk touch anymore, right? Um, no. Right, so, we need to work on getting a grass block. There's a way to make grass blocks with Britannia, isn't there? <clears throat> Is there? I there think. might be, actually. Britannia has a solution to all of the base game's problems. Uh... I mean, I do have... Yeah, you can craft a grass block using a ring of arcana and a block of dirt. And a ring of arcana... Oh dear god, it's a zero ring, an ignition ring, a harvest goddess band, a swift wolf's ring, <laughs> and four, five red matter. You know so what? I that think like that video. option's off the table. Oh, gosh. Oh, don't worry, we can just do some casual starlight infusion. Well, what the hell is liquid you say starlight? that... But, I do have a Starlight Infuser. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, kind of how how do you infuse it? Doing? Um, it's, you need the oh, dirt it's... block in the center, and then just... This is actually pretty simple. 12 liquid Starlight. I don't know if it's set up or not, though, because I was in the middle of revamping my Starsick base. Are there any other ways to get it before I dedicate myself to the Astral one? There's uh... also... A, an option with a spout. We just need water and dirt. Yeah, it's in, if you look in any eye. Yeah. There's um filling by spout on the create mod. We could do that because we have a create setup. All we, we need is a spout, and we have the uh, not the deployer. We have the uh, table. A spout already. is just a fluid tank, a dried kelp, and a copper nugget. Okay, if you want to get work on that, I'll get work on uh, giving the cannon, the dirt, the stone, and the sand. Uh, Ruby. Uh, if you could work on building us a second condenser. 
That would be very helpful. Yay. You know what's going to be really annoying? Uh, what? The worst part of this is I'm going to have to go and try and find Dried Kelp. Uh, I think there's a... There, there there's, should there's, be one nearby. Yeah, no, yeah, no, north of us there should be... Um, there should be like a whole ocean thing. Right, yeah, we had to pass through a giant ocean on a very recent adventure. I think if you go over I know. there... The only yeah, problem okay. I have is that um, we've got Biomes of Plenty. And yeah. Biomes of Plenty has this fun thing where it doesn't spawn things sometimes. Actually, this isn't Biomes of Plenty. This is, oh, the biomes you'll go. Very okay. distinct uh, difference. The superior Biomes of Plenty. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Do we have any obsidian? We, You can uh, salvage the portal from downstairs. Uh, I, I know, I know, but like, uh, I'm, I'm asking for like future reference, just in case. Cause no, I but you can EMC it. Do you need shears to get kelp or do you just grab it with your hands? Uh, you can grab it with your hands. Okay, so, the viewers on There's my help end... here. Oh, oh we must have already yep. grabbed it for some reason. Right, right there. Am I just blind? Yeah, yes. I am. Okay. But for There's the viewers on my end, we are currently missing sand from the cannon. This is its first missing item which means it's finally starting the terraforming process. So, what oh. I'm gonna do, to the detriment of everybody and to the benefit of purely me, I'm going to move the current condenser over to the cannon to oh give no. quick access to the oh. resources so that we well, can I'm get through it quicker. So if Wait, I pick have... up this and this, and uh, this is gonna explode everywhere. Don't you dare touch and my this. special thing. No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, stinky. Uh-oh. My god, how's it... That night just happened fast. Uh, yeah, because I've got the of... watch of flowing time in my inventory. Uh. If it's on a pedestal, it'll only affect the nearby uh, entities and stuff. If it's in your hand, it will affect, uh, like, the world itself. I remember that I put a lot of them in the computer. Right, uh, in that case then, before you start working on making a second condenser, if you want to work dynamo. on making a coal generator, so that we can just intermittently power the computer when we need it, yeah. I think that'd be great. That'll probably be a lot better, mm. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, um, lightning just struck directly in front of me, creating a boss monster. That's terrifying. Well, that sounds like a you issue, actually. It is. It is very much a me issue, because if it um, decides to get aggressive, it's me it's going to kill. I've got a really funny idea, which is to make a devouring generator. Uh, what is, is that gener powered on? Food. <laughs> what, so you feed the generator? Yeah, it's just the shoving, like, bread rolls in its mouth. <laughs> what? Can you stick googly eyes on it as well? <laughs> and then just make the <laughs> rum, 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 <laughs> whenever it eats food. I'll paint, paint some lipstick on it. <laughs> not like a hungry, hungry hippo. You know what? That's not a bad shout. I reckon that might actually put out a bigger output than um than a regular generator as well. It's also that we've got infinite food because we've just got the magic machine which makes more. Yeah. We also have infinite coal because we have a magic machine that makes more. Yeah, but here's yeah. the thing: is that the food the food generator is funnier. It's just, it's called a, um, devouring generator. Right. Dev Actually, is, is cyclic Oh, it's from cyclic. Yeah, is it is compatible? compatible, but it's also a very broken mod, as in it, it is very overpowered for how cheap oh. it is. So, oh. I'm not saying don't build it. If anything, I'm saying we should have built it a while ago. <laughs> Do build it. <laughs> Missing cobblestone out of normal cobblestone. You make it out of normal cobblestone and gravel. How do I how do I get normal cobblestone? You mine out of stone. Out of the chest that's got like two ah, dozen shit, blocks. I forgot about the day night I, cycle. I don't know this. I don't actually play Minecraft if, um, if you're unaware. I don't suppose uh, any of you have come across some glowstone yet, have you? Um I've got like a few pieces. I've got like I've got a single Ooh. glowstone dust if you want to replicate it. Yes, please, because um the way the energy collector works is if it's nighttime it's not as effective because it needs to see the sun. You can ow. You, oh I'm starving to death. That's why I thought you punched oh, I me. I um, threw food. Here you are, here you are. I don't know how I'm starving to death. Because you've got the one you've got the watch on you, so you're just 
getting <laughs> hungry at an accelerated rate. Oh, it's like cursed items. Everything has a downside. Yeah. You can ex yeah. you can speed up or slow down the flow of time, but you'll starve. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, buckle some more. Five, six, Nike kicks. No, I don't know why. There's just something about the Nike kicks fucking thing from TikTok that's <laughs> stuck in my head, and I don't know what. Also, I've been saving this ever since I bought it this morning, and I can finally use it now that we're live. I have one energy drink unopened and chilled in my mini fridge, and I'm having it now. Uh, nice. Nice. If I can reach you're it. You're telling me you don't hold up the entire schedule by five hours because you want an energy drink? No, I don't. Oh, how, how considerate of you. I know, I'm just truly Damn. the the epitome of selflessness. I have no this is. item. Item dot pam hc two trees dot maple syrup item. It's my favorite. I love that on pancakes. Mm, tasty. <laughs> Shit, does it not have a name file? No. <laughs> oh my god. It's just called the default file name. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when shit like that happens. It's so fun. Right, okay, it stopped firing again. What's it asking for? Oh, out of gunpowder. Oops. Sorry, what were you saying, Ruby? It's got the nom nom box. You got the nom nom box? Brilliant. Uh, the cable should be just completely exposed on the roof above the, um, above the computer, if you want to plug it in. Oh. Oh, so you're telling me I can't just, like, ram it next to the advanced universal cable and just it'll connect? Uh, no, you like, put it on top of the universal cable. Really? Because it's, it is just, like, sticking out the side. I thought I could just, like, you know, strip some of the copper wiring from it and, like... <laughs> No, it, it doesn't quite work like that. <laughs> Look, I know, I know you're used to being a part-time <laughs> dodgy electrician, but that's not how it works in Minecraft. You gotta, yeah, you gotta meet go. OSHA code in Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> just feed when it, just feed it some food, and it should power the computer. Legit has a timer for how long it's eating it for. That's actually it's, really helpful. Yeah, it's actually generating. It's like, a, it's like a furnace. Yeah. yeah. yeah pretty cool. So like. Does it... Uh, no, it'd only be made better if it made the Minecraft chewing noise while you were nearby it. You just then, it's just... I mean, realistically, there's nothing stopping us from going into the mod settings and replacing the sound file. <laughs> just, just deafening cross-map <laughs> munching noise because we didn't consider how to <laughs> <arrange it. laughs> Just every oh, time you gosh. come near it. There's <laughs> in this house, there's some horns in this house. Yeah, I know you have. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just trying to have my nice little musical main character moment. And you hey, go dude. and screw me over like this. How could you? Yeah. Hey, you Drop know the, the prevalent ease. dust stuff that we had to use to make the energy to come We don't have it anymore. But did you, by any chance, take it to your magic land? Which nope, is we emceed it. Oh yeah, because it was really good for EMC, so I was like, oh yeah, let's make a sh uh, shit ton of, like, what was it? it was Diamonds, I think. No, I think it was the, oh, what was it, it was the Grey Matter stuff. Grey Matter? Yeah, because we got, like, 20 Eight and Alice fuel. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, Grey Matter's what happens when you shoot someone in the head. <laughs> Grey Matter's one of Ben 10's aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Grey Matter is brain, my man. Yeah. Uh, something that I clearly lack. Grey matter be getting that brain. Shit, we need to make you some. <laughs> which, which of Ben 10's aliens is getting the best brain? <laughs> uh, why has this thing stopped? Right, yes, because for some reason I need frozen gravel. How do I get frozen gravel? You see, when I mentioned that this thing was going to have some really weird requests, this was one mm. of them. What so frozen gravel is... Dude, it sounds like you've opened up an OnlyFans and you're allowed anyone to talk to you. It doesn't actually <laughs> tell me how to get frozen gravel, so I'm just going to have to quickly pull it up. Frozen um, gravel? On uh, the internet. Ice and fire. Frozen gravel. And it was at this point, ladies and gentlemen, this very innocent, innocuous point that hell on livestream would commence. You know how we've got the saying hell on earth? Yeah, this is hell on livestream. Let me tell you, 
most of these 10 hours was me hunting for this frozen gravel. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything, uh, but I will say that the ending was as relieving as it was anticlimactic. That is the only hint I'm going to give. But yeah, I'm just hopping in right now to say that this moment, this very innocent moment, is when the whole course of the livestream changed for what I would argue was the worst. Oh, you are shitting me. Charcoal specific. Frozen no. blocks can be obtained by mining them with the proper tools, but they can only generate in ice dragon roosts. Oh. I have got to go and find an ice dragon. That's going to be interesting. Luckily, I know where the ice and fire stuff is because I stumbled upon it accidentally. But I don't fancy fighting a dragon for- Please tell me it has EMC. No. It does not have EMC, but we can change that very easily. Because um, I don't know about you, but I don't fancy fist fighting an infinite amount of dragons for frozen <laughs> gravel. It just doesn't quite seem worth it to me. Just give the gravel! Mm. You come in here for my loot, for my coin, for my gold. No, I'm here for the gravel. Just running into a running into a dragon's nest with a shovel and a dream. Okay, oh, how the hell does a spout work? That's dry ice. No. A spout? Oh. What? What's the spout for? Why are you making a spout? For grass blocks. Oh yes, right. So you have to power it using rotational power. You've done create mod before, right? Oh. Uh, barely. Right, well, if you go... Do you know the, the cave underneath our Yeah, that's where I, I, I used that room earlier. Yeah, yeah, that's our create mod area. Um, yeah, got you. If you hook the spout up to rotational power, you should be able to then manually that's fill it with water. Hey, yo, Ruby. You got yeah. that bucket. Uh, yeah. Mind if I borrow it? Oh, yeah. Of course not. Oh! My, yeah, the Yosh aid is also just... Freak uh, the hell out. Not shaders, I thought it was just. I just thought it was like lightning or something. No, it looks like it. Maybe it's shade, maybe it's the bucket, who knows? <laughs> well, I mean, I have entered an ice and fire house, right clicked on a pedestal, and now my game is currently crashing, which is a new one because this didn't happen last time. So if I link it up to this vertical gearbox, it should just work. Theoretically, yes, as long as there's not enough stress on the system. Nah, uh, it doesn't seem to be stressed. Yeah, I mean, you'd, you'd know if it was stressed, it'd stop working. Okay. Yeah, it would go. <laughs> just making sure it's not going to explode if it's too stressed. No, at the most, it'll just break the components, like drop them. Okay, I'm trying to get this spout to work, and it's not. Have you considered? Well, I was going to say consider getting good, but tell you what. Do you want to swap roles? You go look for the ice and fire dragon, I'll work with the create stuff, since you've got more experience with ice and fire, and I've got more experience with create. Do I need to get to a gearbox, or just the cog? I'll tell you in a second. Hold on, where are you? You're in the, ba you're in the basement area, I'm in, I'm right? in underground basement, yeah. yeah. We have too many basements, we need to start naming the basements. Um... No. Okay, so, spout. Huh. It should do it automatically. What we're gonna do, it's too low, first of all. You need space. It looks like it's not a rotational-based one, which means it's probably automatic, which means all we need to do is create a pump and filter system. If I can quickly drop some shit into one of these chests. I think I think you just stole the I did. thing from I know, I have my room. magnet on, yell at me later. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's been a it's been a second. So why with the mag? <laughs> because this dude does not know the meaning. Of you know, what? I might as well just send you the off. depot. Huh? Oh, yeah, I bet. Oh no, Whee! it didn't go all the way across the room. There we are. Right then. So, let's. Uh, I'll put it in the it's corner on. for now. Let's put this one up here, and then let's put the depot underneath. Then what we need is a pump. So if I do at create, we need. Uh, where is it? Mechanical pump, which is a cogwheel and a fluid pipe, and a fluid pipe is two copper plates and a copper ingot. And to make copper plates, we need to come over here. Yeah, no, I've made copper plates. Yeah. Oh, see, I'll just make copper plates in this. <laughs> I, oh. I kind of forgot that we made this specifically to counteract that. Uh, do you have the copper plates on you? 
Uh, no, because I used them all. But um, do you have any copper like, left on you? Yeah, there's there's like two. Well, there's like five copper left in the smelter. All right, you go grab that for me. How many plates do you need? Uh, only two, and then a full ingot, so three ingots total. Uh, copper, and then plate, plate. That gets us the fluid pipe, sacrifice one of them for the cogwheel. Uh, with the cogwheel, that gets the mechanical pipe. So, what we need to do now... Uh, go upstairs, go into the computer, and grab me my wrench, please. From there... I need to borrow this fluid tank, which I think is full of water. It's got a fluid tank in it, I think. Yeah, basic fluid tank with water. It's uh, it's full, because we had an infinite source down here at one point. I think we still do. So if I Your put wrench that there, isn't in the computer. It's not in the computer? Where is no. all of my shit going? Uh, we ate it. First, my Philosopher's Stone is missing. Now my wrench is missing. How am I supposed to work under these conditions? <laughs> so, the way this is gonna work is- No, oh, no. The way this is gonna work is we're gonna put- <laughs> Alright, right, so that's two more- uh, That's two more con energy condensers for us. Thank you kindly. The way this is gonna work is we're gonna put this up here. Right, so the arrow is actually already in the correct direction. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna use rotational force to power the pump. So if I put this here- and then... Also, nobody used that one rogue diamond because uh, we, that's yeah, we need it to EMC. There. I know. Yeah. Put this here. But speaking about EMC, though, mm. I've now got uh, twenty-seven collectors. Hell yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> I think we can call it that. We don't need any more than that. Oh, you're sure? Because I've got enough for twelve more. I am absolutely the sure. Right then, what oh. I need now are some of these. I need some shafts. Ducky, I need your shaft. Oh, shit. I thought you never asked. Come here. <laughs> right, I'm guessing I've put them in the computer, so I'm just going to quickly oh. check there. We even have the OG one. 264 shafts. We have so many shafts. All of the shafts. Yes, all of where the shafts. You, where did you collect all of these? Um, I take them as trophies from my victims. <laughs> 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 right then. Uh, okay, let me put. I, I don't know why I still carry this cat around with me. To be completely honest, it has been fucking useless from day one. I don't know why I still carry it with me. What have you been carrying with you? The cat, the casting assistant device. My big blue gun. My blue gun. Oh, I thought you were saying a cat. I'm like, you just shoved a cat in your pocket. <laughs> I can't. Oh, what's that meme cat's name? The one that spins. Oh, uh, girls. Hubert? Spinning Hubert? meme cat. I carry that around with me 24-7. There we go. Now, as you'll notice, the arrows have changed direction, so we've got to quickly flip that. So now that's going to start pumping water. Hopefully. There we yeah, go. Into the spout. And then, filling up. Yeah, it's going to automatically hey. make grass. There we go. We can now yeah. officially oh. touch grass. Oh. <laughs> Boys, we've done it. We've done it. We Genetically done it. engineered Don't grass. Touch. Don't touch it, oh, you're a league player! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh yes. I've got like one iron nugget in my inventory, so you could also just replicate that. <laughs> that is also true. <laughs> that was like the... Imagine having an EMC generator, but having to get iron from iron nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, if it works, it works. Mm. Don't knock it till you try it. I'm just gonna throw the blocks of gold into the Sponsored smelter. by meth. Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> All I can say is my teeth don't hurt anymore, because they've all fallen out. <laughs> right then, you so... You never know the beauty um... of mashed potatoes till you don't have teeth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. According to the wiki, neither the fire nor the ice dragon spawn in biomes that are tagged as cold. Uh, what are we looking for again? Dragon nest. Uh, oh. ice, iced gravel. Yeah, but didn't you also say ice gravel can also spawn in cold biomes? No. Oh. It only spawns in dragon dragon. nests, or if you can get a dragon, an ice dragon, to breathe ice onto gravel, it will turn it into iced gravel. Probably should have brought some gravel with me. Probably. Oh my god, I'm a gigabrain! Dragon armor is also really good. Dragon these nuts. Why are you a gigabrain? 
Oh my god, I could just duplicate the diamond block instead of the diamonds. It's an equal value, it'll take just as long. I've also had to move uh, this over onto this one. Oh, look at that! That's. And say I, it's I... counting two million EMC and up. Can I? Can I just like quickly, like? Did the wiki page say do, anything do specific about where dragons spawn, or just not cold? Can I? Like... They can spawn anywhere. They, you have to make sure you're in new chunks. So have you passed a chunk error? Yes. Do you still have that? Dark then technically you should be able to find them anywhere as long as it's not cold. Oh, was that Ruby? Can, we, can I just like nick all the CMC for blocks of diamonds? Uh, I wouldn't recommend it because this is gonna mean that we can get diamonds even faster when it's done. Aww. Mm. Okay. For now, just sacrifice something to the EMC gods, like cut off a foot or something. There's some gold blocks in the furnace if you need them. That could also work. If you wanted... Good. We could go. Look, you could look. go back to making the pipes, and we could actually set up a legitimate uh, EMC farm with the smeltery. <laughs> oh no! Okay, yeah, let, let's do it. That actually sounds like fun. Because I, 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 I honestly reckon that right now we might need an EMC farm. We could, we could get into mag magical agriculture because you can make diamond seeds. With I'm not going to plant fucking flowers. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to episode 400 in trying to get diamond seeds, because that's how long this mod takes. <laughs> I remember we'd like, try to get into that mod before, because mm. I wanted just like iron seeds, because I just needed like a way to get iron a bit quicker. Yeah. Jesus, no. It took like about four real life hours to get to coal seeds. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm just going to go grab an Amazon parcel. Oh, okay. So what we do is we turn this one into an input. And we turn this one into an input. Mm -hmm. And then we need iron ore. We need raw iron ore. <laughs> this is the hard one. part. Oh, yeah, we got... yeah, we got. Oh, wait, no, that's aluminium. Yeah, we need a single raw iron ore. Actually, no, we need more than a single one because we need iron to smelt into a block. And then we need iron to EMC. Uh, can we... Okay. To make iron ore... Oh, shit, we've got UU you, you matter in this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a blast from the fucking 2011s. Right, now, don't touch seen. anything. Iron, there's six blocks worth of iron in there. The next step is basically you just click this. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm your job. For now, yes, but watch what happens. That gets sent into there, which makes nine iron ore, right? Which is equivalent, but because putting it into the smeltery doubles your ores, we have 15 blocks worth of iron in there. So what we can do then is we can create an iron farm, which turns into an EMC farm. Whenever we need to have a mass amount of EMC, we just take all of this iron, we replace... The iron ore at the top here, we cut off its connection to the smeltery, and we win. There's so like you know how last copper? time, when you were looking for copper, and it took you ages, and I found it instantly? I'm just manifesting that now I'm going off into the unknown, that the first thing I encounter is going to be an ice dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it's my luck, honestly. Mm, mm. I mean, it'd be beneficial either way, but it'd also be extremely fucking funny if I found it first. To me. Honestly... Honestly, keep saying it because it'll happen. Because that's my luck. <laughs> yes, let's abuse karmic retribution. I must have killed so many puppies in a past life to be this unlucky. <laughs> oh, you must have been one miserable git. I'll oh, keep an eye because I'm currently underground because I'm looking for gravel. Oh, I nearly fell prey to a siren. Oh, well, and that's not hyperbolic. I've literally found a siren. Yeah, I, I know of them. They, like, pull you in from across the way, don't they? Oh, it's you. singing to me. Oh, me. It sounds so lovely. Uh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It's such a nice sound. Wait, does this stop? Hey, they're not even attacking me. They're not pulling me in either. They're just singing to me. This is great. 
suffering. Hey, yo, baby girl, how you doing? Aha, mm -hmm. it's so nice to see you today. Aha. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna kill you now. It still sings even when it's killing you. <laughs> you want ugly son of a bitch. Land ho. What did you call me? Finally. <laughs> land. <laughs> don't tell me no, you Mrs. land, bitch. No, Mrs. Siren, I don't want to. Well, you forget. A consent for a siren is uh, but a suggestion. Hi. Scathing topics Hello. of conversation right there. Welcome back. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Where did you go? I want to go take a piss. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I'm going to say, you just up and left after my Yo Mama joke. I thought <laughs> I'd scathed you so I'm badly so you needed to go and take a break. Absolutely destroyed. <laughs> destroyed with facts and logic. Take uh. that, Lippard. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, this is getting ready. I know, it's it's genuinely... I mean, I don't want to be the one to cheat, but if we hit, like, three hours, can and we, we do still haven't three... found one... If we can hit we three hours, three? can we just say we sacrifice, like, <laughs> five, ten diamonds and we spawn them in? No! <laughs> it's got to be something bigger than that. It's got to be something worth something that can't be replicated. Was that a fucking dragon? Oh, it's a sea monster. Ow! They can jump! Mm -hmm. Never mind, I ain't getting too close to that bitch. Nah, <laughs> fuck that. Although the fact that I am seeing ice and fire spawns again means that hopefully I'll come across a dragon. Mm. Fingers crossed. The, the scary thing is, I haven't seen a dragon or a nest, and the, the scary thought is, if dragons aren't spawning, is it because they're not nest spawning? Because mm. I don't think dragons spawn naturally. I think they, they have don't. to have they a have nest. They have to have a nest. Which means, like... Is there a way to check? Slash ice? No. Slash config? Show know, file. Ice and fire. Server. Config for ice and fire of type server not found. Fuck you. Um. Hmm. Common? Let me check. Let me check the file. Oh, it won't let me. It just tells me that it exists. It won't actually let me check it. Well, that's fucking helpful, isn't it? Okay, just making sure. I wanted to make sure it propped properly. Can I teleport to somewhere on the map? What? Yeah, <sighs> I got my ass. Yeah, I got my ass handed to me by a hippogriff. Sing Barbie Girl in reverse, and I'll let you teleport to your grave. I've already done that. What the fuck do you mean you've already done that? I've already, te I've already teleported oh. to my grave. <laughs> I thought you meant you'd already sang Barbie Girl in reverse. <laughs> no, no, that's my, that's my like, bedtime ritual every night. <laughs> while brushing my teeth, sing mm. Barbie Girl in reverse. Yeah, no, Hippogriff kicked my ass. Yeah. Because it just throws you about 20 blocks in the air. So, we've encountered sirens, sea monsters, and hippogriffs. But not dragons. But not dragons. Although in I'm a mod that. where the main pull is dragon. Right, you know what? I'm gonna take your advice. Slash locate. Hey, uh, I know that you said this, but like, you know... Fire. You know with the EMC stuff? Mm hmm You know if you... So, is it just if they're touching, they share the EMC values? Yes. So you're telling me that if I put... I... I put Hold up. I think there might be a dragon. Well, you're not going to like this if it's not, because the locate command for ice and fire only works on Gorgon temples, graveyards, and mausoleums. Uh, Whoa! Actually, no, I, I lied. It's a fucking meteor site. Because <sighs> I, know, I know if fire dragons use their breath, it converts sa um, sand into glass. Mm. But I guess meteor impacts also do that. Yeah, they do. Anyway, Ruby, what's up? Sorry, uh, so you're telling me that if I start, like, I don't know, making the, all the energy collectors, like, co connected up by using the middle blocks? It'd make them slower, but they'd also share EMC. I've got no life. I figured that out. My life is for the glory of Anadonia. Oh, you are fucking me. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. No. That's why they weren't disabled, period. They were disabled in the overworld. You need to go to a place called The Other. And how do you get there? You need all the modium in the nether. Okay, so. <laughs> all the mods six. The other. <laughs> How do I get to the other? Teleport pad. We need a teleport pad. How does one make a teleport pad? You need frozen gravel. What? <laughs> no. To make a teleport pad, you need all the modium nuggets and an ender pearl. And all the modium uh, comes from an all the modium ingot. Which, in turn, comes from all the modium ore, which spawns in any ocean biome from Y levels 5 to 45. Oh, better get swimming, boy. That's where we need to look. If we can get that, we put it down in the nether, and that takes us to the other. And in the other... That is where dragons should be spawning. So, at the ocean, underground. Y levels 5 to 45. Back at Guy's view. I need to borrow a torch. Does anyone just have a singular torch? No, I won't. Have and one. I'm not giving it you. How rude of you. I'll have you know. Your mother. Yes, yeah, she's I'll a very have, nice I, person. I, I have <laughs> a singular torch. But at the same time, I'm on an adventure. So we're on the same adventure. Yes. Why is this Lord of the Rings stuff with you two separated? I'm going on an adventure. I'm going to find one of the rarest doors in the game so that I can go fight a dragon for some iced gravel. All of this. Is All it? of it. I'm... It's iced gravel. Oh, I found your hole. Let me in your hole. Yeah. Go into I the find, hole. I find go into the hole and just follow the tunnel. This seems like place. it was a lot easier than it was supposed to be. Yeah. Here you are. It's a shame I don't have looting, but yeah, you've just straight up found all- Oh, there's ammo there. And so does Ford. Ooh, it feels like everything's speeding up finally. You need netherite. Oh, for fuck. What? <laughs> you, are you kidding me? <laughs> you need netherite! No, you don't. Destruction uh, catalyst just... works. <laughs> Memes. <laughs> Destruction care. catalyst beats netherite. Uh, right, okay. we have a single block of this now. Can it be put in a smeltery? It can be put in a crusher and made into dust, and, and then it, the dust can be put in the crusher again to be made into nuggets. We have a crusher, but yes. I want to look for another one of these before we leave, just to be sure. No, it turns into like 15 nuggets. There was diamond right below that, by the way. Well then, I guess it does have the same spawn rate as diamond. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll take that. Right, you wanted my dimensional shards, right? <gasps> yes! Alright, hold on. Let me check them to you. Uh, here's oh my God, 10 my and here's 64. Oh my god! Oh my glob, oh my glob, oh my glob, oh my glob, this is 64 actually... is about halfway to a full pedestal. No, 64 is about... Yes! One pedestal! Nice. When I recreate, I've got 10 in my inventory. Oh. Nice. Now, you know what we can do? We can place one right here. And we're ready. Yeah, now it's double the speed. No, creature. No! no! Why'd you leave the game? It just stopped. It just stopped. What, it crashed? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Christ, why are you guys running out of- Is it- I'd say it's because you're streaming, but it happened to Ducky as well. Yeah. Um. I mean, you you did it. It happened to you once. Yeah, at least when I was looking at the Wither Skeleton Skulls. Hmm. These are certain I, things that cause it. 
it, it's it, never been this unstable before, and I have no idea what caused it. It doesn't say in the chat log. Oh. Apparently it was RAM or something. You're <laughs> running out of memory? <laughs> yeah. Uh, IO Heti Handler Codex Encoder out of memory error failed to allocate. Why does it need that much? How much okay, is it no, saying sorry, it is, wants? Uh, sorry, it's is 60. Okay, so it's asking for over 16 gigabytes of uh, direct memory. Fucking hell, this is a big mod pack. Used 10,000. Uh, sorry, used 10 gigabytes out of 10 gigabytes. Uh, I do actually think I can allocate that much, though. I'm going to say I've got more than that allocated, but Jesus. What? All I added was two mods. Two mods, and it made it this unstable. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly swap over to the opening so like I don't dox myself. Yeah, you, you, you might wanna do that. <laughs> don't forget you are live. Right? What has changed between then and now? Two mods have been We're added. Searching. We're Revive searching and guns. We're, We're, We're moving searching. around a lot, which is generating chunks. You know what it might be? It might be because it's generating the chunks to make sure that we can like go back to it really quickly without any load times. They mm. might be storing, like, the actual chunk IDs in RAM. Yeah. So, because we've searched a lot, that might be causing it, potentially. And the other thing that's changed is that we're I'm also, also live-streaming. Yeah. Two of us are, at I'm, least. Yeah, I'm also looking at my CPU usage just booted up to 100, so... Mm. Um, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Yeah. Right, so I now need two buckets of lava. Please. I was about to ask you to go and get me some, but I forgot you're not here. It don't <laughs> it's exist. Just me. You're banished to the alone. ethereal realm. Oh yeah, you you've fallen back into the back rooms. Uh, I told you. Fallen into liminal space. Mm. I really told. I told you we we can't beat Moist Critical. Like he's taking all of our viewers away. Our whole two viewers. I I don't know what you're talking about. I poopy butt chungus have two concurrent viewers still, uh, so how dare you look at me on your phone? I am moist critical. Right then, I've got so a, I've I got go us a around, crush. <laughs> if I go around and get a leaf collection going, it's orange. The color is orange. Oh, yellow. Yeah, no. No, it's it's orange. Why not yellow? It's a uh, autumn type leaf, I think. Oh, it's loading terrain. I know it says you're in the game for me. Hop. I just hope the creeper's not there. It's either orange autumn leaves, <sighs> uh, orange spruce leaves, or that's it. Okay. Right then, so how am I gonna power this thing? It's uh, just like, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna spawn in. You're gonna see some oh weird hobo mage looking guy yes! walk in, grab some shears, and sprint off into the forest <laughs> so he oh leaves. What's up? I'm so happy I got a second viewer. Nice. It's been a well for so long, and I got a second viewer. I'm so happy. It's been so long <laughs> since last I've oh, seen no. my son last to this monster to the man behind the floor. <laughs> it's not letting me put it in. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I don't know how to configure this. I'm going to be real honest. I've never used one of these. How do you crush all the modium then? Because it's not letting me put it in the crusher. Oh. Oh. You might have wanted to check that maybe before starting it. Um, oh. I'm not too sure. No. Right. So, I was right originally. The crusher would only give us one dust. An enrichment chamber would give us two. We still need another piece of all the modium. No. What? No. <laughs> no. And after all of that, we already had an enrichment chamber. I found, or, I found orange oak as well. Yes, collect some of that. I found oh, all I the think... modium. Um, yes. I found some. I, I've got the teleport pad. Ducky, are you coming with? We're we going to the, um... We're going to the other, but first we need to go to the nether. Which means we need a flint and steel, because the nether portal in the basement is for some reason... BROKEN! It's, there we go. It's okay, I am sound of mind. This does not bother me. This is just a byproduct of the industrial revolution. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, buddy. 
You but, know what? Uh, yeah, I will. In we go. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 so, if you've got anything in your offhand, get rid of it. Thank you, thank you. I can use this to make energy condensers. Oh, we're, we're, we're in that. the other, in the crimson forest, inside of each other, and I can't move. Oh, you actually made it there? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes! Oh, we're underground. I guess we dig up end style. Yeah, I'm gonna dig up. Because nothing can go wrong doing that. I found I vibranium, but it requires all the modium. But, 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 but. If uh, the last one required netherite, I don't see why this should be an except. I can get it. I can get vibranium. Oh, nice. <laughs> to say that we've. You say we're making no progress. We've made more progress in the mod pack. See you later, Zia. Oh, We've oh, made more progress in the mod pack in today's stream than we have ever. Oh yeah, 100 But then I think it's because we're forced. Oh <laughs> my god, you were right, we should dig up. Holy shit. What's up? This place is insane. It's like an overworld Badlands, but mixed with nether features. There's blazers on the surface, there's, there's structures, there's, there's, there's piglins, there's a ton of stuff. Come this way. Oh, what is that? That's horrifying! What are you? Oh my god, yeah. Fucking it's hell. from Ice and Fire. We're in the right place. Yay. Do you know there's the snow zombies from Game of Thrones? Yes. I think yes. it was that. Ah, yeah, because we got exposed bones and stuff. Yeah. Right. What's that building up there? Up where? Right here. I'll have a look. Oh, that is a pillager outpost? Crimson style. Nice. Why okay, so we've watching? got to try and find... Yeah, whatever this place is, structures are not gelling nicely with it. They're floating. Jesus Christ. Come on, let's, let's make like a, a forward command post here. Right then, so while we're here, we need to find an ice dragon. So, what? if you want to... proof that dragons exist. Oh no, they're getting on the walls. Oh, I, I, think the fucking walls. I think it's the, the opposite of proving dragons exist. It proves that they exist in a different existence. I think we've just proved hell is real. I don't think we've actually proved <laughs> dragons exist. We, we didn't. Th we went to hell. And then we went to hell again. You don't need to tell me that hell exists. This is like the it's Patreon plus tier of hell. <laughs> These guys have got some fucking range on- This is like fighting those they drones. They do, they've got like- They seem to have like extra range. Yeah, it like, is literally like fighting the drones. The wall. Right, you can either follow me while I go around and I'll stay grounded and we can work as a team. Or you can work on spawn proofing this area. I'll try and spawn proof this area. Of okay. course. I get the shit beaten out of me. I'm gonna Just look for existing. dragons. Oh my god, the fucking blazers! I know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh. It's just, hey, I hope you enjoy, like, you know, suffering. <laughs> mm. I have just found a desert pyramid made out of blackstone. It is the most intimidating shit. Also I, think cool, this, I think this is meant to be a village. Some bastardized version of a village. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. There's a weird portal construct inside here. Everything's made out of obsidian. I oh, it's rigged! Outside. The chest is rigged! Oh my god. Well, I'll be damned. You've gone so far in Can't say I've ever seen that happen before. Fool me once. Holy shit. This place is dangerous. You're not gonna like this, but guests spawn here. I don't mind ghosts too. Much. One just spawned directly in front of me. The EMC stuff's all set up. 
Nice. Well, like the rest of eternity, essentially. Because Thank you for the help. There's, there's no way I'm going to be able to make that faster without the watch stuff. Yeah. Like, and I, and everything's automated. So quite literally, if we wait and do fuck all, mm. we get more energy collectors to yeah. add on to the uh, energy condensers. Um, I've pretty much maximized everything apart from like adding probably another row. But yeah. then, like, you won't be able to click on them, and then there's no room for, like, actual, like, pedestals. Cool. In that case, then, we can change the use of the condensers into the stuff that uh, the cannon is going to need. So stone, sand, gravel, dirt, grass. I have the yeah. grass on me, uh, so you'll have to wait for that one. I just got a wither skeleton skull. And the wither skeleton was holding a bow and arrow. Yeah, that's no issue. Oh, that's um, pretty scary. Yeah. I'm just gonna start adding like the actual things we need into them. Yeah. Uh, like I've already put one on the uh, gunpowder, but it's not within the uh, the range. So. I need food. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I've got food bucket base. If I wither away here, I think I. Oh, I thought I'd gotten so lucky. I found an end ship that's been netherized, and instead of um, an elytra, it's netherite boots. Hmm. With curse of binding and vanishing, oh. but it's also got feather falling four, fire protection four, and soul speed three. So I'm actually going to put them on, even though it's curse of binding. <laughs> They're not bad, not bad at all, really. Mm. I, oh, I found a supply ship chest. You know, the one that we found on the adventure? Mm. I found another one of those. <laughs> and I found two bits of ancient debris. To say this place is dangerous... It's just got the rewards for it. Very lucrative. To try and work on a safer tunnel back that's not sat in complete darkness. That is an end city themed like the nether. <sighs> Do they have shulkers? No, it's with the skeletons with bows. Jesus. And, uh, and blazers. Blazing city. Enter a nether city. I wonder what loot I'll get in here. One here, as a white pip on the minimap, it'll be a lot more distinguishable. Fair. It's What's such this? a tiny advantage, it's barely worth the effort. Oh, there's a ton... What the fuck was that? Okay, there's a this is a horrendous place. No, He's I'm made at, out of black I'm, cobblestone on this. Hmm? I am in a I am in a biome called Mountain's Edge. I saw a three-headed snake fall from the sky, and now my game is crashing. Oh, oh! oh there is oh. so much wrong with that picture. Uh, 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 do hydras exist in this mod? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Fucking hell. My will to live is decreasing rapidly. Same. What you are what? you? It shoots uh, poison! Oh wow, the most fun mechanic in Minecraft, you say? It shoots poison! A three-headed snake that shoots poison! And I have no arrows! No, I don't And now I'm on fire. <laughs> this has not been a fun trip. No. You know what, at this point, I'll be happy if I just see a dragon's nest. I don't even care if it's an ice dragon anymore. I just oh want my. proof that they exist. That does so much damage. <laughs> I like hit a it big once. hunter at this point. I hit oh, it once, point, and yes. it took me down to zero health. I am in full Jeez. diamond and netherite. It has like a hundred and something health. I think if I keep dropping on it like that, I might be able to... It grew, it grew a second head. It grew another head. It's got four okay, heads yeah, now. So it is a full-on Hydra. It is a Hydra. It's called the Hydra. Ah, oh, full. Hopefully it's poison can't kill me. Ideally, I need some... The only thing I've got with range is my CAD, and my CAD is a pile of shit. Oh, there's like a nether desert temple here. 
I don't even think that took damage then. So we know things can spawn here from ice and fire that we've never seen in the overworld. Because Dragons the fucking Hydra and shit. Dragons are just that thing where they're so yeah. rare that you might as well give up. Yeah. It now has a fifth head. Well, that's Seriously, like this thing is... What if I pour soul lava on it? <laughs> <laughs> what if I just pour soul lava on it? All, all Everything is on fire! It is so quick acting! Oh, is soul lava like lava, but it acts like water? Yes, and it's blue. Nice. Blue. A lovely blue. A lovely blue. Yeah, at this it's point, down to two I heads. Like... I think it regenerates if you leave it alone long enough. So the soul oh, fire should be stopping its regeneration ability. If I set fire to the forest that it's in, maybe I stand a chance. I uh, feel taking the colonial approach. Yep. <laughs> yep. On a shame. <laughs> if it works, if it kills the fucking thing, it will die. If it burns, it will die. If it can bleed, it can die. If it can die, it can bleed. Oh, there's like a. Oh, I set myself on fire. Oh no, that's not good. Rip. I don't even know why I'm trying to kill this thing other than it looks weird. I think you do get like some pretty decent stuff from them, to be fair. Well, I hope it doesn't burn then. What broke? My helmet broke. I'm fighting three blazers and a hydra. Sounds like the start of a bad joke. Same. <laughs> Oh, it's- I killed it! I killed it! Nice. Nice! Drop anything, because I know- I know you can get in, like- If it's from the mod I think it's from, it's from the same, like, mod as dragons. Yeah, it is. It's ice so, and fire. So, yeah. So it should drop, like, scales or something that I think you can make into armor. It dropped a hydra fang, which can be used to make hydra arrows, which poisons and leeches life from a target. All of that for a poison arrow. I mean, to be fair, it's still less of a mythical creature than the Ender Dragon. <laughs> yeah. That's also true. This is That's all it can be used for. It's just for arrows. For all the time and effort I spent trying to make poison arrows the other day, I could mm. have come to a mad dimension and <laughs> killed a Hydra. Yeah. You know what? That would probably have been easier. You know what? I just want to check. I just want to make sure. I don't care if it's cheating. I want to make sure. I just need to know. Dragon cave. Is there a dragon cave nearby? Just a single cave with a dragon in it. Is there a dragon Today. cave? Today. Is this a myth or a legend? Or... I need to know. I need to know. If I go back into survival Ooh. mode, reset my ring. Slash TP, 13th Drifter, at E. Oh, I can't do it that way around. Uh, I'm out of ideas. I thought I could teleport myself to an entity ice dragon. I thought wrong. <sighs> do you want to just fight one? Do you want me to just spawn it in and we'll fight one? Well, okay, I'm, probably so gonna, not... I'm probably going to die immediately. Okay, so it's not even going in as fuel, the gunpowder. <sighs> yeah, I can, I can fight an ice dragon. Fuck so it. let's fight an ice dragon, shall we? That's I'll not... take I'll take instant Ooh. sweet release over any more of this fucking exploration. Slash TP Wubba Ducky, the thirteenth drifter. Watch out for the fire uh, and the zombies. <laughs> These fucking blazers. Oh my god. I need you to revive me. I need to kill this thing. I need you to revive me. How do I revive you? Uh figure it out. Oh wait, I hold right click. Thank you. 
If I were a rich man. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay, so maybe. Get behind the safety wall. <laughs> maybe we should get somewhere there's less blazers. That in this dimension. <laughs> Good point. We might as well go to the overworld. Slash summon. Oh, for ah. fuck's sake. Boxes in. Boxes in. And I'll summon it above us. Boxes in. Should we just go to the overworld? No, we're fighting it here. If we find it in the overworld, things are going to go wrong. Right. Things already are going Slash wrong. Slash summon. Uh, ice and fire. Dragon, no, ice underscore dragon tilde tilde tilde, and we'll set that one to twenty blocks in the air in three, two, one. <laughs> Fucking run! <laughs> Let's just kill this oversized fucking chicken here that and is now. A fucking blaze. That was a lot easier than I anticipated. Yeah, that it was being. like. That was, like, insultingly easy compared to the epic journey. That that actually makes me feel disappointed. I'm actually oh. disappointed now. Where? Okay, so I need to cover. I'm on fire, I'm harvest... in pain, I need a chest. How do we harvest its body? Somehow. Oh, the ice on the floor. I'm going to die. Get in the safety cube. I can't. The enti the dragon's body as an entity is killing me. Get in the second safety cube. Okay. Okay, let me open my fucking backpack. I think that blaze actually just burned everything it dropped. No, what am I being attacked by? No, ghosts? A, a ghost. I'm being attacked by ghosts? Um, no, you can... I think there's a way to harvest its body. Right click? I think you have, I think you have like hold right click with an empty hand, maybe. No! Yeah. D Ice Dragon Flesh. My game was freaking the fuck out of it. Yeah, the dra- oh, it's just bones now. I've got scales too, and I've got its heart. I've got an Ice hey, can, Dragon Heart. Can you just quickly enclose me in this little cube I've made, because I'm frozen. <laughs> okay. I'm on, I can't do anything. I'm being pelted you by someone. Get in the cube shit. with me and it closes both in. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll seal you in with fucking sky stone. <laughs> That's so much shit. Why? I, oh my god! It's just like fucking gunfire. <laughs> Saving Private Ryan, I got shit. <laughs> so much shit. Can I have its bones? I want its bones. I've got its bones. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I've harvested its lungs, its heart, and its bones. Have we got- have you got a- yeah. Yes. Now I have. Okay. Now we've got a reward. I'm not gonna run back through that hellscape. Oh, this is frozen stone. We should have put down gravel. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, you know what I'm doing? I'm teleporting back to the stairs. <laughs> Join me if you want. <laughs> This place is hell! I'm leaving. This is I'm, I'm leaving. Hell. This place has broken me. I'm leaving. I'm gone. <laughs> this, was, this, was, this was the worst. I didn't even get to die to the dragon. It was an insultingly easy kill. That's the worst part. I took it down in my five hits! That's the worst part of all this. That was like... Four hours worth of effort for that. And we didn't even find it naturally. No! Oh. We were defeated. It just doesn't exist. We couldn't even find a regular fucking dragon, let alone an ice dragon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure mountains don't exist in this place. I think only Mountain's Edge exists in this place. I, I hate this so much. You destroyed the elevator, didn't you? That's the stone. What? What elevator? The one in our house. No, you can still use it. Yeah, its camouflage is missing. I know it's been broken. What? Its camouflage is missing. Wait, what? Oh! No, it still works. Yeah, it still works, but its camouflage is missing. I, I don't know why its camouflage is missing. Because you broke it? It might have something to do with the, the, the flames uh, that happened earlier. Remember when I fa said I found out and I nearly broke the shit shack? 
Ja. Ja. <laughs> I'd be concerned if you had. Hmm, Sophie, yeah. I told, I told you Look, not to mention that. I'm not, I'm not a member of parliament or royalty. I can't get away with it. Ah. Political. Nice. <laughs> just kind of a matter of fact at this point, the sad reality. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. it, it looks so nice. This, this is actually what keeps perfection up like. Yeah, this is it when it's actually functioning. We've it's loud it. as all hell. We've done it. Well, where, where is it even building the mountain? Where is it again. even building this? You'll is find out soon enough, don't you worry. So like, when, when, is it, when it's finished, does it just build it? What it's doing now is building it, but you can't see it building it because it's building it in, like, from the ground up. No, you're telling me all this is because you've got purple stone underground because you're a bit of a dumb dog. No, I took the lowest layer possible, so the furry casino. I took yeah. just above that, so the roof of the furry casino to the skybox. If there's any blocks between there, that's what it's putting out. Well, for some, that new follower, wondering what the fuck... The two words you just put together mean <laughs> the, in the furry grand scheme of casino. Thing. The furry casino, yeah. Mm. Uh, it's don't, just, question, it's don't question it. Don't just watch it. the series. Watch the series. <laughs> watch the series and cry, and then, you know, maybe Drift yeah. will get a notification tomorrow for an unfollow. Yeah. Or maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> the yipping them. Oh. You know what? Someone just joined the, the uh, stream. So, you know what? I'm, I'm going to introduce them to the, the casino. Because you I know wouldn't what? recommend not? it. Why? <laughs> Because they'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> we need a soggy garden. What? It's a. Uh, it's a Pam's Pam thing. Yeah. Where did I destroy a soggy garden? I don't. I don't know. I don't know why. I. I. I have no clue. I don't know why any of this exists. Why okay. do we need a soggy garden? Because apparently there the was ones... a soggy garden in the quadrant that we destroyed. It's one of the ones that... that gives you food. Yeah. Is that one of the ones that floats on like water blocks? I found it. Oh no, we need shears for it. I've got shears. Where are you? Okay, I'm here. Uh, I'm in uh, three nine two four uh, two four oh oh. Oh no, shears don't work. Shears don't work. How do we pick them up then? Creative. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. this is the one time we might actually... I'm gonna say, because if we can't pick it up with shears and it's asking for them, there's really nothing we can do on that front. So if you want to spawn in one succulent garden... This is a soggy garden. Soggy garden. <laughs> then I, I'll look the other way just this once. Dumbledore said calmly. Um, <clears throat> but no, uh, this would not be the uh, only time that this happened, and it would be far from the uh, hundredth time that it happened. You see, uh, Ruby, in his infinite wisdom, uh, decided to convince me that this was the process we should undertake for every single fruit that it asked for. Because, you know, the trees in the, in the background, in the forest, they had fruits underneath, and... When it was asking for fruit, when the cannon was asking for those fruits, it wasn't asking for the offspring of those fruits. It wasn't asking for the edible part. It was asking for the block itself, the bit that grew them. Now, we didn't have Silk Touch at the time. We only had shears. And in Ruby's infinite wisdom, yes, I am blaming this all on you because I am very salty that you made me cheat in a series that I am so desperate to stay legit in. But yeah, in his infinite wisdom, he decided to convince me that there was no way of getting them, and so every time it asked for the fruit, uh, we would just spawn it in. Which would be fine if it wasn't for the fact that around hour 24, I came to the discovery all on my own that you could collect them as long as you had Silk Touch on a pickaxe. Which, in all fairness, from that point forwards, aside from when I got really tired, um, I, I did. So yeah, just forewarning. In the end, it doesn't really matter, considering that it wasn't part of the actual base design, it was just the environment. Because not only did I not destroy the fruit, but it was asking for them despite them being there. And the only reason it was doing that is because it was asking for them in a specific state of growth. Which is just something that I can't control without turning off time itself. So yeah, I hope you don't mind too much, considering it is really just... Uh, 
It, it doesn't matter in the long run, but I thought I'd put this warning in anyway. I thought I'd jump in and just let you know, so in case you see any creative mode fuckery within the compilation, you know why. Uh, but yeah, back to the, uh, what is this, hour five now? Nope. Hi, Drifter from the further, further future. Hour six. Enjoy hour six. See ya. Uh, marble pillars. I'm putting them in now. Okay, Robert. I'm gonna uh, head out. Okay, bye-bye, Ducky. Bye-bye. 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 There he goes. <sighs> he is of service. Mm. He has served as well. I just hope he didn't log off with anything important. <laughs> you mean... You mean... No, I hope so, too. Hmm. Right then. So, stone is still in production, but it looks like it's taking them too slow. There's got to be a speed transfer upgrade, right? If I do at pipes, nope. at P -I -P -E -Z. You know there what, is a speed what? upgrade, you know. Really? Yeah, there's a pipe upgrades. Although, uh, the end game one is quite expensive. The next tier up, the highest one we can do, is a netherite one. But that requires all the previous ones. Do you want to make some pipe upgrades? I'm going to try this. I I honestly reckon a pipe upgrade would. Actually, I no. think I think you're right. I'm... I think the wash of flowing time might have actually improved that there. Right then. Okay. I am going to grab some oak wood. Oh no! What? No no no! Stop! What? Why? Dude. Come over here, come over here, come over here. Hold on. Look. What's up? Dude. Look what? what it's doing. What? What am I looking at? Look, look at the pipes. Look look where the pipes are supposed to go. Oh, it's taking itself out of the equation. It doesn't count them as an entity. <sighs> what we need to do for this is it's going to be a pain in the ass, but we've got to move it. The only option is we've got to move it up into the air. Kill me. We can do this kill me. Kill without no, no, mess. No, 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 we need me. cardboard boxes. No, kill me. No. No, no kill me in game. No. Why? No. Oh, okay. I sure. can fly, dumbass. <laughs> you, you've got to, you've got to give up. You're, you're bleeding out. Okay, so left foot. Hold left foot. Yeah. There we go. No, it's it's legit just so I can activate. It's my, okay. I don't mind. My 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 ring again. Yeah. Right then. Because so... otherwise it would it would just be you who has to make it up there. Yeah. We need to make cardboard boxes so that we can move tile entities, and we need to move them into the air because it's gonna replace it. Actually, no, not into the air. We need to move it outside of the boundary it's working in. It doesn't matter if it's in the air or not. It has to be outside the boundary that it's working in. Speaking of which, any new modifications we've made to the base that we don't want to be deleted, when it comes time to affect that area, we've got to uh, pick them up. So right now we're safe. There's no new modifications except for the actual cannon. When it gets to part two, we've got to move the uh, com not the, the the grinder that we made that's in the basement. Why is there so many mannequins? Oh my god! Why? What did I click to trigger all the mannequins? What mannequins? There's mannequins down there. There's no mannequins down there. There's mannequins. I don't. I go genuinely don't screen. know what go, you go mean. Go on my screen. In... Go on my screen. Right there now. Are mannequins? Yeah. There are I, no I mannequins. Having... You're having a. You're having a. I'm, I'm, not having an, I'm not having an episode. Join. Look, click on my stream. Click on my stream. Okay, hold on. Let me. Go let on my me. Stream right now. Let me have a look. Right here you are. You're you're live, just like I am. I am. Oh, <laughs> that is weird. Why, why are oh, there mannequins? That is weird. Um. I know this is where the furry casino is, but like. That came up when I was in spectator mode. I honestly don't know how you how you've done that. I don't. Why are there mannequins? I really don't know. This is the 
they gone now? They gone now. They're back again. It's going to go in creative mode. That's what's scary. Right then, that is on oh, the yeah. same level as that. So two more levels, and we should be fine. Ah! <laughs> God damn it! Uh. It's pretty. Yeah. It's a shame you can't hear it from here. It, even though it's like very grating, it's a nice sound. The uh, the ceramic cannon. Oh yeah. Mm. But can you guess why the mountain has sand in the center? Why? No, I want you to actually guess. Is it because you use like a terrain generator thing that like mimics the uh, actual like formation of uh, mountains in Minecraft? Close. I built the mountain out of sand initially, and then I changed the exterior using a paintbrush. Um, okay. So that it was stone. And then on top, no, it wasn't stone to begin with. I turned it all into grass, grass blocks. Then I turned the dirt that it would turn into into stone and left the grass blocks on top as like a cap. Yeah. Mm. Which is why the sand in the middle. And it stopped. Mm. Why is it stop? It needs dirt. It needs dirt. Uh, oh. Is the dirt connected? Dirt is not connected. Dirt has been unplugged. We can use this back one for dirt. Essence of undeath. What? What is that? Uh, apparently it came airdrop from a zombie I killed earlier. Essence of undeath. Oh, oh for a minute there, I genuinely thought that <laughs> it was asking for it. And I was just going to say, <laughs> if it literally asked... Okay. It's like, <laughs> the, the, the ice gravel, I get. The purple sand, I also get. Mm. But if it's asking me to get the literal embodiment of death and shove it into a chest, <laughs> I am not. I'm not. I'm not even. I'm, this is one of twelve. If it's asking for death next now, what is it next? Is it going to ask for please find God and then <laughs> please yeah, find God? It will. And then grab God, put him into a small four by four cube, and ram him up your ass, put him into a chest, and it's all good. I'm, I'm yeah. yeah. Right then. Right, while well, I wait for you to come back, I'm gonna go make some more pipes. And the cannon has stopped. For what reason is that? It wants sugarcane! Azuka! Oh shit, I forgot my Spanish Duolingo. Una hamburguesa? No como carne! And um, don't tell me if the game's crashing up into the world. Uh, anyway. It's Meat is carne. Delicious is delicioso. Food is uh, tengo. No, food is comida. I have is tengo. Chicken is pollo. And that's my Duolingo for the day. If I just give it a bit of frozen gravel. In a few seconds, it's gonna be done. Oh, that's so nice. It's gonna be done. Hmm. I'm gonna live long enough to see it be complete. Yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. <sighs> How are you bleeding? Because I'm killing myself so I can fly again. Ah. Uh, I wonder if you're not gone. listening to anything I say. Jesus. No. <laughs> like I know you use the sand, but you know if I broke this frozen gravel, would it literally just be like, like directly down to bedrock? Uh, no, it's just layered over the top. It was a guideline for when I was uh, building the schematics. So once it's yeah. all cleared and done, we can just delete the frozen gravel by, like, going through with a shovel. Nice. Uh, also, speaking about which, I didn't realize there was oil here. Yes. What better to shove up your arse? And that's part one done. That's Wait, the schematic done? done. Wait, that's done? Yeah, schematic one is done. Obviously, well, it it's not so perfect, because obviously we had to work around not deleting our own stuff. Oh, you, oh it looks so nice. Mm. Right then. The next step. Cardboard Oops. boxes. <laughs> what do you mean? Hmm? What do you mean? Cardboard boxes to pick up the chests so that we don't drop items everywhere when we move them. Oh! Oh, oh! I thought you, I thought you were just taking the piss about the fact that now, now, now we move. No, oh. no, no, no! Cardboard boxes. We actually need cardboard boxes. I'm just gonna go collect that. I'll just do a few things and I'll be back. That's like okay. Case. I'll see you in a moment. See you in a moment. Sorry about anyone who's in my stream. <laughs>
Uh, right, so for the sawmill, we've now got ourselves the machine frame and the redstone flux coil. The last bits we need are the copper gears, which is iron and copper, which surprisingly, we don't have the copper. So what we're going to need to do to get the copper is we're going to look around through all of our chests because let's be honest, we can't keep our thoughts organized. Um, but I do believe we did still have some copper. I want to make sure first of all that this copper can or rather can't be used. I just want to check in advance. And that's exactly why, because even though it wasn't changing, even though it wasn't showing that we could, we could. So we need to make two of those. So let's just shift click that. There we go. Two nice copper gears. After that, we just need the saw blade, which once again, if we take the copper all the way over back to the computer and not hit our head on the wooden barricade, what we can do from there is we can just fly on up nice and quick, watching your head on all the stone. And we can head back to the computer, drop the copper in, drop the iron in, drop the copper gears in. And from there, let's type out one last time, sawmill, because for some reason it doesn't seem to save our searches. And yeah, oh, saw blade. Almost forgot the saw blade. There we go, drop that in. And now we can grab this sawmill and we can build the sawmill. So with the sawmill in hand, we can now go down to our basement. We have many basements. We have many a basement within our basement within our basement. But this one is the one where we keep all of our tech stuff, our create stuff mainly, but our tech stuff nonetheless. Okay, so we've got enrichment chambers, we've got crushers, and we've got inscribers. Now, we don't need the inscriber here anymore, especially because we've sort of, for now at least, finished covering the applied energistics side of things. We're not done entirely. We've still got quite a bit to, to do with the drives but until then we can just move this inscriber on down here next to the blast furnace which admittedly doesn't see much use these days either and from there we can then plug in the sawmill to the side that's it it's draining in some rf so with the sawmill to get the sword dust for the cardboard boxes we can let's let's, let's, just, let's just have a look we can put in wood we can put in uh logs Wood, 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 wood. Okay, so it's all wood. So I wonder, would it would it accept a chest? No, it would not accept a chest. So what can we do then? So we can go looking for some logs. I'm pretty sure we should have stored some in the computer by now. And because we are getting the sawdust out of it, we're not actually after the planks. It doesn't really matter what type we use. So if we just type in log. There we go, we've got 27 oak logs in there, and nice and ripe for the slaughter. So, if we just uh, quickly move back on down. I do wish things were a little more direct when it came to moving backwards and forwards throughout the place, but, um, you know, this is the price you pay for aesthetics. So, if we chuck this on in here and wait for that to do its job, which is actually very fast, all things considered, this here is the sawdust we're after. Now, I'm... I'm pretty sure, admittedly, that if we search for cardboard box once again, yeah, doesn't have any MC value. Most mechanism stuff won't. So we are going to need as much of this sawdust as we can. Thankfully, it seems to come quite frequently. And that is most certainly what she said. <laughs> so if we just turn this into a cardboard box, there we go. We've got two cardboard boxes ready and waiting to be packaged up. I'm going to leave that running. Uh, while I go to start package these things up, but before I do go to package these things up, I'm gonna weird. I'm gonna sleep very quickly just so that we can avoid the mobs and all of the creepers that like to gather around the cannon area. And from there, let's fly on over. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's place it on top of the roof just for funsies. That one right there. Of course, you have to be awkward. And I can't fly because I need to charge my client star. Lovely. Let's just quickly use the roof hatch. There we go. So, that's one. That's two. Right here, we have stone. And right here, we have grass. And I still can't fly. Uh, and pedestal here. That's it. And while we're here, just so we don't have the daylight spinning around us constantly, let's make sure this one's on fast forward. Let's make sure that this one's on fast forward. That's it. Let's make sure that this one is on fast forward. There we go. 
bam, bam, bam. What we can then do is we can go and grab the rest of the condensers. And while we're here, since we have a Dark Matter pedestal and a Watch of Flowing Time, let's start linking them up, okay? So let's put another Watch of Flowing Time here. Let's make sure that it's actually set to fast forward, and then let's enable that too. There we go, it's rocketing through even quicker now. So, now that we've done all of that, the next step is once again to get the next set of cardboard boxes. Meaning we have to box, not cardboard boxes, I'm losing my words there, I've been distracted. The next thing to get is the set of condensers. But before that, I think we'll actually grab these energy collectors right here, because these are just sort of wasting space here. They're, they're not powering anything right now, so we're going to bring those with us, bring them back to the new site. If you right-click a chest, it will turn the chest into the cardboard box and save all of the NBT data inside of it. Once you then break that cardboard box, it will save it in your inventory. You can right-click it to put it down, and then shift-right-click it to take the box off and reveal the chest underneath with everything still safe inside. Okay, so... Theoretically speaking, if I did this to, uh, oh, 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 what? So shift back. Oh. Mm. Oh, okay. So that's how it works. Yeah, it's a very handy invention. I like having. Them. So. Oh, these are collectors as well. I didn't notice. Yeah. Hmm. I, I did a good setup. I'm gonna say it looks very well put together. Yeah. There we go. As clean as it'll be for now. Let's hop the fence into New Mexico. That's it. And let's set oh. these up over on the roof. These five words. Why are these chests so small? Uh, these are large chests, right? Aren't these the size of a single chest? No. I th no, think no, there must be something wrong not, with my no. eyes. The normal chest is, uh... That's weird. I, that feels wrong. Also, we're out of cables. I may have run out. We need to make some more. Dude, you know what I think it is? What? Because, like, one chest is the size of an inventory, correct? Yeah. Yeah, this is this is correct. I don't know why... I don't know why it looks weird. I think it's... Mm. You know what I think it is? I think it's because we've been staring at this shitty Minecraft screen. <laughs> for, like... It's seven been hours seven hours now. Our actual pupils have become square and it looks different now. <laughs> this one is now sand. Okay, so we've got one for sand, one for stone, one for grass, one for dirt. What was the last one that we needed? Sand, dirt, gravel, grass. Uh, we need, uh, frozen gravel! Frozen gravel, that's it. Which one of these is the frozen gravel? This one's the frozen gravel. Frozen gravel is Uh, this one, right? That's empty, yes. Okay. So let's swap this out for the wrench. Right then. You know, I've See, done. now that we're prepared, it's a smoother start. Right, so, this is your last chance. Do you want to save anything that's inside that we've made from today? No. No, absolutely not. I would actually destroy everything I've ever seen today. Okay. All I've done is picked up so much- Oh no, it's gonna ask for lava buckets. Nah, it'll be fine. I don't actually know how it handles fluid, to be honest. I was just guessing. Oh, okay. Why is it idling? You put something on it. <laughs> God damn it. Take it off. No. Oh, for fuck's no, sake. No, no. no use, use your watch. You can actually, uh, not watch, a wrench. You can actually make it so then it doesn't attach to it. Oh, I thought you were putting it on. No, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't realize it was I, I, I feeding into the, the pedestal. I forgot about I, that. I, I lost the wrench. No, <laughs> it's feeding into it. Yeah, I've got mine. Let me, there it is. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Alright, pop that off. Yeah. Put that on. Oh, go. that's a full stack in there. Missing Is item it? vines. Uh, I've got shears. I can go get some vines, I suppose. Right then, so we're just out of range now, meaning I can actually drop down to grab them. If I can find them. A jungle biome would be better for vines. We just need one. Yeah, we just need one and we can EMC them. Let me look at where it's trying to get them from. You know what? With the vines, it implies that there's vines already here. It does. 
I just don't know where. Right then, have you found any vines yet? Because I yes, honestly I can't. There's, a, there's, a, uh, there's an abandoned minecart underneath here. Really? Yep. Where are you? I am currently... You're at the bit. Where? I'm, I'm back at the base, yeah. What, did you just go underground? I, I just found an open mine. Oh, okay then. Yeah, just EMC some of that up, and then, um... I and then we'll plop it in. Back. Right then, so... End... Uh, pull. Hey, <laughs> 16 of you bad boys. Nice. Right then. So, with the end of pearls, we can now go on to make the end of tank. Now, it's a good job we saw those blaze rods from earlier, because those blaze rods from earlier, the ones that were in the chest, not the ones that we put into the crafting station, are going to be necessary to create the second one of these, because I, I only just remembered that we do actually need to make two of these. So if I just throw that excess sword up there, why have you stopped cannoning? What are we missing? Gravel again. Okay, we can fix that in a second. Let me just lay these out first. So, rod, 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 and pearl, pearl. I believe they're there. Let me just check. Uh, oh, it's below. And then we use buckets. These two will do. Oh, excuse me. To craft the center part, and then from there, obsidian on either side, which we've got plenty of. Down four of these bits, okay? So we're gonna go... Actually, hold on. If I... I might be able to be sneaky about this. If I do this, and then I lower this to its lowest setting. Oh, I thought for a second I might have stood a chance. Never mind, eh? Yeah, yeah, you can't destruction catalyst some obsidian. Well, lesson learned. So, two on this side, two on this side, and lastly, we need, of all things, wool at the top. Wool. W O O L, and we've only got one, but that's fine, because we've got like a billion condensers. And with those billion condensers, we can then create a second set of wool. So if we just hop on back through this cave over here, we quickly rush our way back to the top of this base right over here. We can then just a uh, little sneaky. We can put a little sneaky on this uh, on this one here. We can replace the gravel with the white wool just for a second, and then we've got everything we need for the end attack. Welcome back, Ruby. Huh? Like you autopilot that video because it sounds like. Yeah, I um, I told you, I I don't stop talking. No, that's fair. You okay. Right then. So we might have to move the um item transfer part for this one. So we're gonna need the cardboard box because this ender tank needs direct access to that seared uh, tank there. So if I leave you with these, if you set those up, you can either craft the liquid version of the pipes, or you can use the create fluid valves like we've got in the create room, which are personally my favorite ones. Uh, I'll let you set that up while I start working on the cannon. So, do you know the chests that were originally around the cannon over there? Are they still there? I think so, yeah. I'm gonna go grab the purple sand. I'm gonna assign it an EMC value based on the fact that it is sand, and then I'm gonna potentially relog my own game, because I completely emptied that island of all purple sand, and I don't know where to find another one. We have sand at home. Hmm. We got we sand at home. We literally have sand at home. We got sand pretend, at home. Don't pretend like it's the most valuable resource out there, because you know what is the most valuable resource out there? My most fucking yeah. sand is <laughs> <laughs> No VB! <laughs> okay, we need another chest, but we don't have space for another chest, so I'm not sure what to do. Just, just, okay, you see where all this shitty sand is? Yes. Just put it in the sand one, I'm clearing it out. Okay. Which one's sand again? Okay, that one's sand. The right. what? The, just put it in the insea with sand yeah. next. Boom. Wait, this is frozen gravel, not sand. I connected it to the wrong one. That oh. one's sand, so I've got to go over That's the beautiful. top. Imagine having to stay here for another hour because you forgot the frozen gravel. <laughs> there we go. Now it should be connected to the sand one. I can't believe you were so careless. Shut the fuck up. Alright. Okay, missing uh, sand- oh, missing sandstone. Right, we've got a sandstone one already, it's this one. So if I now just quickly drop this in here, and then drop this in here. Where did you connect the purple sand? Uh, the junk one, like you said. It's this one here. 
Wait, it's this one's supposed to be the purple sand. I haven't put it in yet. Okay, hold on. Now there's purple sand. It's fixed now. And I can dance with you, baby. Flirt a little man. Okay. So I know that you're right. we need one basic fluid tank. Okay. We've got that. We need we need candle nut fruit. Candle nut fruit. Okay. Chestnut fruit. Okay. Cobblestone stairs. Right. Is it when it comes to candle nut fruit? Is it the type of fruit that you can't harvest? Yes. If it says fruit at the end, you can't fucking harvest it. We went through this. Oh, just go through the fruit ones really quick so yep. we can grab them. What's the yep. first one? Uh, candle nut. Candle nut. Okay, so how many? 31. Okay. Uh, 31 candle nut fruit, sorted. Next yeah. one. Chestnut. Chestnut fruit? How do you spell chestnut? Uh, like Chestnut, like there we go. Not. So if we come far enough back, we should be able to see it actually start to, to build up along the ground as well. Really? Although, yes, welcome back. I wondered where you'd gone. I went to the place. Uh, okay. But yeah, I found the mystical black flowers and I've kept some for future use as well. Lord. Right then. Ooh. These are some random holes. I don't remember permitting to be here. These holes need to be filled. Right then. So. Giggity. Um, oh, yeah, right, they're going to attack me, I forgot about that. I kind of forgot that, you know, people are actually hostile. There we go. Clear these out. Yeah, I'm here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right there. No longer AFK. Thank you. So, is it still firing? Yes, it is. Absolutely brilliant. Molto bene. Top of the morning to you and all that. Right then, so, with the mystical black flowers out of the way, what comes next? I'm gonna eat an orange door hinge. Okay, what comes next in terms of the book? Congratulations, we will not be able to win anything. Why is your cat and sis both so cute? I don't know, but I just crashed. Like, my game is just straight up crashed closed when I was looking through my keybinds. Yeah. Failed to allocate 18,149 bytes of direct memory. I had a memory dump issue. Cannot believe that. Cannot fucking believe that. And it won't let me back on because I'm out of memory. I'm going to have to restart my client, aren't I? You got to turn the entire thing off. Yep. Ionetti Util internal out of direct memory error failed to allocate. I've got to restart my game. Oh shit, no, my clone trooper helmet. I'm playing with Lego. That's how that's how bored I am waiting for this to load. I'm playing with Lego. Literally, I, I get that. I've had to load in multiple times. Oh, I'm going to be kicked off soon. How come? It's getting close to the uh, next three hour mark. Oh shit, you're right. It's in like an hour time. Oh my oh. god, we've been streaming for eight hours. Alright! Give it up for our rate! Ding 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 ding! Give it up for our rate! I will actually castrate you. <laughs> it's not even a joke anymore. Uh, does does Soul Touch have a book? Uh, I'd assume so. Oh, it's called an enchanted book, right? And then you have to look through them all for Soul Touch. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh god! At least it's uh, in. No, it's not in order. Okay, I'm breaking Silk Touch. Okay, yeah, you got it. Uh-huh. It can be got from an enchanter in mine colonies, and Bro, that is it. Thought, have you ever thought about just the most basic-ass thing to get self touch? I know you don't like this, but... Do we even have bro, the resources for an enchantment bro, table? just build a fucking... Okay, do we have obsidian? Yes, check downstairs. Do we have a book? Fuck it, you said you had weird 30. Do we have diamonds? Bro, what the... What is this condenser made out of?
Uh, covalence that. dust, uh, and, uh, 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 and diamonds. an alchemical chest. And diamonds. Obsidian. And diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't see diamonds. no fucking diamonds. I don't hear no bro, bells. Bro, bro, what are these collectors made out of? I don't diamonds. hear no bells. You know what? What? What oh. do we have a chest full of? We didn't have obsidian up here. Yeah. You opening the other one? Because I was. Because you are a very special person. I was a very special person and definitely not about to scream the R word. And I'm very sorry about anyone <laughs> it's who. It's all right. I nearly because... called it you as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very uh, sorry to anyone who listens to this because this oh is even the most God. like edgy, entertaining stuff that you haven't heard in for a while because you know everyone's gone soft or like you're just there like Jesus Christ. How you literally sound like an alpha male podcast influencer. Shut the fuck up. You know what? Maybe I should be. Okay, hi. I'm a hi. My name's Andrew Bates. Uh, Welcome to my, How to Ruin brother... Your Life 101. Yeah, I'm Andrew Bate, okay? The reason why I'm Bate is because, like, I'm Andrew Tate and Patrick Bateman, and Jesus Christ, I actually want to neck myself after saying that because I feel the cringe come off me. Good. I'm glad you understand the stakes. Right then, I'm still trying to figure out this new enchantment system, man. It's fucking nuts. Right then. Can I just have it on automatic to make me a fucking uh, iron pickaxe? No. I need more wood now. I've run out of wood. Never thought I'd have that problem in my life. <laughs> I've run out of wood. I can't do anymore. The weight of your sins will collapse on you. And I will be waiting, arms open, for them to crush me. Let's bring that iron in. Let's drop it into the enchantment table. And we've got soulbound, efficiency 2, and unbreaking 1, which again, we're not after. So, what I'm going to see is power range. 19 to 20, what we're after what, what, what do we have for silk touch? What power range do we have for silk touch? Anything? Enchantment level. Okay, you can't get it at level 1. You can get it at level 2. You can get it at level 3. So let's hit efficiency 2. Why not? Silk touch! Ha! Last pickaxe and we've got it. Absolutely perfect. So, now that we've got silk touch on this iron pickaxe, we can make our way over to a tree, believe it or not. So that we can see if this actually works. Now I'm fingers crossed hoping it does. Because if it doesn't, this was all in fact for nothing. So let's mine up. Let's have a look inside of this mineral tree. Let's eat some of these mineral berries. And let's have a look to see if we've got some... Oh, I hear a zombie. Let's see if we have got some special mineral logs. Here we go. Enriched right in the center. Let's crack on down. Let's see if we can pick it up. And... Yes! Enriched Mineral Log. It does, in fact, work, which is absolutely brilliant news, because that means we can now be prepared for when the cannon comes a-knockin'. And now we're missing the Cutstone Pillars. Okay, so Cutstone Pillars. Let's just drop the crows and gravel in there for now. No particular reason why. We are just growing our chest monster. We are nurturing our chest monster. So let's put the Cutstone Brick Pillars up top. And now it's gonna work its way through them. There we go. Ow. Why would you hit me like that? That's not fair. Sorry, That's not nice. I just, had, I just had to break you out of that for a second. I have no you, idea you were, like, you were like a You were like a Chinese child in one of those content factories, man. What do you mean by it, that? It got scary. It got scary. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> you ain't know exactly. I was just commentating. I... Beep, beep, beep. I was doing my job. We need to add some more watches of flowing time to speed these things up. Yeah, yeah, speaking about this, we actually have quite a few of them. In fact, probably too much for, like, yeah. people to have all of them. We have three it already just on standby. And we're about to have another took, pedestal. Remember when it took you, like, 12 hours to make one of these? Yeah, and now we've just got surplus, which is great. Yeah, speaking about surplus, let me just quickly throw... Uh, I got something to speed this up. There we go. There we go. Let's grab that. And let's put it... Yeah! Let's, let's, put, it, let's put it here. Let's grab the watch. Oh, yeah, let me grab the watch, actually, because last time you forgot to turn half of them on. I turned them on because, you know, when you actually put one on, it only actually turns on when you turn this on. Yeah, but, I mean, you have to select the mode if you don't no, right-click it to fast forward. No you, no, you don't. Yeah, you do. No, you don't, because I tested it out when I removed the one from the pillar. If it's if you don't right-click it when you first make it, it's set as none. It doesn't have an effect. Ow. I put my noodles in cold water in a pan on the hob 
and I boil it with the lid on until they are literally bubbling. I then drain it into the sink, I then put it in the bowl with the seasoning that's already been mixed together, and then I eat it. A lot of things, actually. I'm glad you finally noticed. Well, when I put it like that, it sounds simple, but it honestly just takes a lot of time to sort everything out. I'm not very good cook. Oh shit, I've never been a good cook. Okay. We should buy little gay chef heads. Hmm. Like, I'm, I'm not even here to like, take the piss out of you. I'm just not, like, I know, I think that's actually a, a kind of a solid video yeah. idea, to be fair. Yeah. Cooking without Cash Studios. Autism. So, the question is, how long will it take before it is just stone and sand? Because I've been predicting for a while. It is just going to be stone and sand within the next few rotations at the most. But, quite obviously, it's not. So... I want to, I want to, I want to guesstimate. I want to put forward a little challenge here. How many layers do you think it will take before it stops asking for it some stopped. fucking leaves? It, it stopped. stopped. It stopped. God damn it. We need more oak leaves. More oak leaves? Okay. <laughs> you know what? I have oak leaves. I'm going to replace the sand. And you're going to make space for these fucking oak leaves. Nice and simple. Why is it not giving them? Why is it not sending them through? What did I miss? Unless, of course, the pipe is clogged. But the pipe can't be clogged because there's nothing to clog it with. Unless I disconnected it at the wrong place. But I didn't. So what's going on? Is this a server issue? Is this is this something in the commands? Do I need to check something? No, it's, it's not a server issue either. Which means it is a user error. And if it's a user error, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Play. Okay, no. Why is it not filling this hole? It, it's Wait, usually good at filling holes. Why is it not where, where, filling where the hole? Where is the MC? Where is the way? Okay. Is it this one here? It's, it's this line here. Yeah, it is the oak that used to be the purple sand coming straight through down here into this chest. And for some reason, it's just not. And I don't know why. Um. See, it's accepting. Well, you know what's actually the worst thing, actually? What? It shows that purple sand's still in there, but it's not actually, like, taking anything. Because there's nothing EMCing, because I took it out, because I didn't want it to replace everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm not... What if I try this? Oh, I think it's a server issue. What if I try this? Because I think it might be a server issue. Maybe? Because I'm going to be completely honest here. There's no reason why this shouldn't be working, right? Uh, I can't no, think. I can't think of a single reason why this shouldn't be working. Because like, even if you got like you know purple sand as like the main EMC maker, mm. it it should still be making stuff because it will be taking from the oak leaves and making purple sand, but it's not. Yeah. Uh, this is strange. What if I do this? Do you think it might be because we've had the server running for nine hours straight? I fixed it. What was it? For some reason, it won't take unless there's something in the top. Like that. That is the stupidest fucking mechanism I have ever seen. So, I'm gonna go and investigate now how far it's coming along in terms of actually placing things down. And from the looks of it, it's just about to envelop the very top of the create room, which means, well, putting it simply, it means that the machines that were in there that we worked on today are now no longer in there. Rest in peace to the crusher and whatever the fucking other thing was. But with those gone, it means we no longer have to worry about um, anything below that. So if we did need to, we could go in there and we could start placing things down on the ground level and everything would be a-okay. Nothing would be deleted. 
Now, let's see, is that stopped again, or is it just uh, resetting back the thing? No, it won't wipe the hard drives in the computer, because the hard drives in the computer were there uh, before when I took the schematic of the area. In fact, it shouldn't even touch the computer, really, and if it does, I'm not going to be very happy. Some nice old oak. You finally wanna, you finally wanna get some rest? Yeah, I might dip because I might, because like it, it's about an hour off from where I sleep anyway, so. Okay. Right yeah, then. I well. To go get a shower, make sure I'm not holding anymore. Hmm. And then, you know, if you still want to, we can do. I, I, I can do a second plot tomorrow if you want. Yeah, sure. Um, I, as much as I want to get it finished today, I don't think I will. So, in the event that I don't, uh, we can stream tomorrow. So, Ruby. Yeah. It has been lovely having you on the podcast today. It has been lovely having you on the live stream at Outcast Studios. So, while I myself may not be leaving uh, right now, Dinner Ruby 60. Uh, what? Dinner Ruby 60 on Twitch yeah. is now <laughs> logging off for the night. So, I wish you good night and I hope you get some rest. I will do, my dude. You know, I will probably start the stream late tomorrow because you know me. Yeah. Right then. So, bye bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Oh, Bye. Look at that. Look at that sexy beast right there. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. See ya. Oi. Oi. Oh, God. Where is it wanting these birch leaves? I genuinely don't know. Because it can't be replacing these, because it's supposed to be eating these. And it's 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 still... I don't know... I don't know what it wants. I don't know what it wants these for. I'd say we'll find out, but by the time I put them in, it'll, it'll already have fired them off. Absolute mmm, this cannon. And now it wants more birch wood, because of course it does, because why why would it why would it stick at just birch leaves? Is it wanted to build these? Is that what this is? Or is it deleting these? I honestly can't tell. Uh, let's just drop it in here. Very quickly in. Burning through that gunpowder like a mother, goddamn. That's what I like to see. Okay, let's grab another stack. There we go. Oh, let's grab another stack. There we go. And let's just drop this up here. Nice. Now, let's see how much quicker it's building. There we go. And Ruby said they don't stack. Listen. He might think he's a smart aleck piece of shit, motherfucking bitch ass motherfucker, but I know, I know my Project E, I know my precious watches of flowing time, and I know how they work. And then, oh yeah, you can see it's still building over there, and now it's going to restart over here. I really need to stop predicting things, especially when they just don't end up being correct. Is it going to ask me for birch? I think it's going to ask me for birch. Let's see if it's asking me for birch. It's not asking me for anything. The server is failing. Let me check the server logs real quick to make sure I'm not about to lose all of my fucking progress. Bear with me. Okay, let's see. What are we saying here? Oh, the server hasn't printed any logs since Ruby left. That is not good. I am very scared. If this crashes, I will cry. Just those are the stakes, in case we're keeping track at home. Uh, let's just let's just sit around for a bit. Let's just wait for a bit. Let's just see if it'll fix itself for a bit. Although I think I might know. Oh. Oh. If this crashes my client, I know what happened. If it doesn't, I haven't the foggiest. Just a fair warning. Um, let me check the server. Server closed? Yeah, I know what happened now. <laughs> that vet not have broken all of my shit. Alright, we're back in the game, aren't we? Uh, let's see, how much did I lose? Uh, I lost... None. I was right, it's after mineral logs. It's wanting to replace that tree right there. Well, you know what they say, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's finish it off. And pop. 
I'll leave the special ones there. They're special after all. They deserve to have special treatment because they're special. Because they are special, that means they get special treatment. And that means they don't get brutally murdered and massacred along with their brothers. Right, then let's drop this in here and... Let's see if it crashes. Target not loaded. Target loaded now? Perhaps target loaded now? Target loaded. Come on, target loaded. I don't see any movement. I'm going to assume it didn't load, which means there's probably a bigger issue at play here. I'm going to be completely honest. What are you searching for? Missing item, wake bloom. Oh, you got to love a wake bloom. I know I love a wake bloom, personally. Wake blooms are really pretty flowers. Well, you don't find them all that too often. You usually find them around the same place as Cerro Blossoms. There's some over there. That just procked my memory. I remember there's some over there. There's some over there. We, we encountered them when we were building this area. They're around here somewhere. I know it. Can't progress without you. There you are. Wake Bloom. I, okay, you can make a Wake Bloom by putting a Wake Bloom in a botany pot. That's very helpful. Okay, well, at least I remember the name now. Wake Bloom. Okay, I need to find these Awake Blooms, or as the conservative right would call them, the Woke Blooms. <laughs> uh, the damn near Woke Blooms coming in and taking our Cyril Blossoms jobs. Uh, wake. Nope. Any blooms at all? Nope. Well, that was a waste of uh, pork chop. Lovely. Anything in here? No, in here. Uh, nope, anything in here. Uh, nope, anything in here. Uh, nope, anything in here. Yes! Wake Bloom! <laughs> oh, you look so good right now, Mr. Flower. I could kiss you. Come on then, show me what you got. Anything? Anything at all? You're gonna show me what you got? Oh, you're gonna crash again, aren't you? Or what? What did you conflict with this time? Was it the windmills? Was it the windmills? Or was it the tree this time? Which one did you hit, huh? Which one crashed you? <laughs> I'm very tired. And on that note, I think I'm gonna end today's live stream here. And in case I don't see you again, well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. See you later, guys. And see you later, I certainly would. Right after I ended this live stream, obviously, I went to bed. I got all nice and refreshed. And then, the next day, I got ready for the next half of this live stream marathon, okay? We've gotten through the first stream now, the first 10 hours. Now, <laughs> we've got another 19 to cover, okay? So coming up is hour 11 of the 29 hour live stream. Buckle your seat belts, because from this point forwards, it gets so much quicker. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight into it. No time to delay, let's go, go, go! Ruby. Yeah. I think it's time we moved our schematic cannon setup. I'm like so, the aerial POV. Um, let me grab some chests very quickly. Uh, while I do this, um, yeah, you start working on the condensers. Okay, so now I have to go and find the other schematic cannons. I said in the last live stream that I found two other schematic cannons, right? Oh, they're in my backpack. Never mind. Here we go. We'll just stick to two cannons for now, even though we do have a third one, just to make things, um... Safer, not I suppose. Breaky. Yeah, not breaking. Um, I'll then surround this cannon here with these chests. Uh, oh, I did that in the wrong direction, I think. Did I? Let's fly these on over to the cannons. Yeah, there we go. We got it done. We got it sorted. Nice. Okay, so I'll put four in this one. And I'll put five in this one. And then I'll stick the book up here. For this one. <clears throat> and the book up here for this one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, server. Server. Server lag. Yep, server lag. I think having so many watches of flowing time is uh, definitely yep. starting to break it.
a little bit. No, it never. It doesn't break anything. It's working perfectly as intended. The server crashed. Again. Again. Yeah. It crashed so again. It... All right. So show me those log files, bad bad boy. Okay. Oh. Oh. Two sets. Yeah. Um. It might be some of the items in the in the schematic. I. Thing is, though, if it was some of the items in the schematic, then why wouldn't it crash when I built it in single player? Wait, so uh, so you you've already like gone through and made this like you made the schematics in single player, but did you use the cannons in single player? No, because I built it by hand and then saved it as a schematic. Yeah. Either way, here's the well, latest crash log from the server. What you should probably do is go back into the server and load the other schematic and see if that loads up correctly. What, schematic number five instead of four? Yeah. Okay. And if that loads correctly and doesn't cause any issues, then mm. try and load schematic number four, and if it crashes again, we might just need to do schematic number four by hand. Whatever it is about number four, it's very fragile. Yeah. I'm kind of tempted to turn on the watch of the flowing time and break the whole thing again. Don't you dare, the world hasn't started loading again for me yet. Okay. There's okay. something about this corner that it just really doesn't like. This is when it's something stupid, like there's an oh. item in there which it doesn't want to spawn it. I've crashed. It's kicked me. Has the server gone down? Um, it's the saving replay file, so I'm assuming so. The server went down, but it didn't crash, it shut down. You know what would really be so <laughs> sad? What? Is if all this eventually makes the game unplayable, <laughs> oh, and then I'm we back. have to then we have to shadow of Israel our series. Oh my god! Well, the thing is, we'll never have to fully give up because I have a backup of the world saved, but it's a really old one. Oh no! Mm. Okay, oh, so no. I'm in the server, and I'm crashing again. After moving into one of these chunks. Ha. Huh. The server closed after moving into one of these chunks. Uh, Stack the overflow cannon? error. Was the schematic cannon still loaded? I don't know, I couldn't check. But I think I know what this might be. What do you think it might be? Um... The segment that we're working with uses half of the Yif Casino underground, and while it shouldn't be touching that... Oh... While it shouldn't be touching that, if it is somehow scanning the whole chunk, that means that it might be detecting the mocap that we have down there that is designed to break and place blocks. Schematic. Crashing. Server. Okay, this person from two years ago. Okay, it's not the same error code, never mind. But they found out it was because of vertical slabs from another mod. But mm -hmm. they, they don't have the same error code as us, so it's not this one. None of okay. this is going to work. None of this is good. So I'm going to connect to the server and I'm going to do TP the 13th drifter to 000. zero, zero. Uh. As soon as it detects that I'm on. Right then, Twitch viewers, close your eyes. You're not meant to see this. Yeah. No one's ever supposed to see this. Anyway. Right, I'm back at Guy's view. Watch the memory heap. For now, it looks like the area is completely unloaded. I'm going to try my best to avoid loading it. Oh. Uh, yeah. The server's definitely chugging. It's not even loading the area where the cannons are. Fixed it. Wait, what? Well, I mean, the cannon's broken, the schematic's on the ground, along with the recipe list. But the server is now loading normally, and I'm not lagging to shit anymore. Alright, so let's not try and load two schematics at the same time, boy. Hmm. I right. think that's the takeaway from this. But the thing is, it gave me a materials and you book. Or at least I think it did. Unless that was a regular book that it... Oh, it was a regular book that it dropped on the ground, never mind. But yeah, let's just not load Schematic 4 for now. Schematic 5, on the other hand, has been working perfectly fine this whole time. So, 
I think logic dictates that we work on five first. And since five is the one that has our house in it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to our house and I'm going to save some of the tile entities that um, we perhaps don't want destroyed. So that would be the skull, uh, the bestiary lectern. Let's just save this, shall we? There we go. Let's just put this in the backpack. Uh, put that up there. Put that up there. These can be... Not you. Oh. Are we crashing again? Right, either way. I've saved everything that we recently built that, you'd, that we'd want saving. I'm going to make my way back over to the cannons now. And... I'm going to feed Schematic 5 the gunpowder that it so rightfully deserves. And I'm going to just tell it to start working. I don't want to pipe anything. Well, that's a lie. <coughs> yes, chat, I am a monster by eating mints and then drinking lemonade. I am a monster, I like you the- You just stole my fucking wrench. No, no, it's, it's my wrench now. Got some fresh meat I need you... it. Give me my wrench. No, no, you, you, you don't need your wrench. I need it to start the fucking dirt going in. And well, thank no, you, Jesse J twenty one, for the follow. Nice to see you. Oh, I love Jesse. Now J. give me my fucking wrench. No, you. You know what? Fuck you. In slash inv c. <laughs> in a ruby. No, 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 no! You can't see my inventory. There's gonna be tons of stuff you can't see in there. My fucking wrench. Which um. What is it doing? Is it? Are we doing number three or five? Or is it? This is oh, five, five is and now it wants ice. So it's a good job we've got silk <clears> touch, <throat> and it's a good job we live in a relatively cold area. Let's see. Where's some ice? Where can we grab some ice? You know, if we put the ice gravel in water, do you think it starts making ice around it? I don't actually know. Let me see if there's a way to make ice before I do anything else. Go to a cold biome. Water bucket and an ice charge. Uh, you can use glass in a starlight infuser to make ice. Uh, mana anything? infusion. My um, my starlight infuser isn't set up because I was in the middle of uh, doing a star sick thing. Oh, okay. You can put snow in a solidification chamber. Uh. Uh. Multi star. Uh, wait, world transmutation. I have a philosopher's stone, I can do this one. Do we have water nearby? Did that do it? It's yeah, white for me, that. so I can't tell. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, nice. Right then, then I use silk touch. And then we have ice. The official term, I think, is now stimming. Yeah, no stimming yourself, yeah. 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 Which sounds awkward to close to strumming yourself. and. If you did that in class, you'd probably have a lot more problems on your hand. Right, where's that? Where's that pit of lava? Here we are. Ah! Ah! Sorted. Ow! The chest. And now it wants a crafting, crafting table. Okay. Table. This is where it starts running through the stuff inside of our base. Yep. Do you want to go collect our crafting table and throw it in? <laughs> 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 now it wants an energy condenser. <laughs> it wants an energy have... condenser. I actually have an energy condenser. Good. <laughs> also, if uh, you look around at the outline of the base, you can see where it's reforming itself. What does it need now? It needs a sweet potato seed. A s what? Okay. Sweet potato seed. I mean, at least it's doable, right? Bro. I know you like making things long and, like, unneeded, but, like, do we seriously need to get a good potato seed? I think it's going through Dr. Phil's farm. I think it is. Yeah, sweet potato seed, right here. Oh, Wait, no. it wants the seed. Yeah. Can you plant? Oh, you I plant know. them and it turns into the seed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break Phil's farm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to turn on my magnet. That was not what I meant to do. 
And then I'm going to drop everything that was in his farm into the cannon. And if that doesn't work, then it means that it's one of those that we can't get in survival mode and we'll have to put it in manually. There we go. Running nice and smooth. Now let me know when it stops. Okay. I love how you're getting all the footage, it's ace. All of you. Well, if you want to swap positions, nope, if you want to take the top roll for once, be no, my I guest. To I don't want to be a top ops. Come on. We can both be over here if you want, because the cannon will, uh, it, the cannon, I think, acts as a chunk loader. Hmm, fair. To be fair, it is nearly done. Hmm. I'm going to say, there's not much to do in this first layer, or at least in this square. There we go. It's getting all nice and built together. Although I am slightly worried about that area there. That needs to be flattened out first. Uh, is it still asking for anything? Nope, it's just um, really slow with the grass blocks. Ah, okay. Is there any reason why, or...? Uh, I think it's because as soon as it's like going in, it was getting uh, sent shot out. Like, it was ah, shooting okay. more of them out than uh, thinking would be put in the box. That's weird. That shouldn't be happening. Uh, it's because the uh, watch the flowing time affect the pipes. Oh, right. And there's points in the pipeline, I think, which aren't affected by the watch of flowing time. Yeah. So it'll speed through certain bits, but it'll be slow as fuck in others. Yeah. Hmm. Also, um, just so you know, since it's in this quadrant, this one is going to clear out our spire. So we will need to keep Guy the Sheep safe on this one. No. Yeah. Do we need to keep him safe? What? Why did you not like? Keep He's tied into the chair. He can't move. There's a there's a lead connected to him in a in a fence underneath. It's why he's been up there for so long without leaving and dying. He's pre he's precious. He's a precious little bean. Yeah. But yeah, it's gonna delete these blocks, so we should probably save him. Probably. Uh, do we have a lead? Yeah, we can just use his lead. Okay, let's do it. Where's the... Where's it's the underneath them. It's, uh... There. Oh. Oh, well, why, why can't I grab We've got that? a shield on. Oh, there we go. Oh. Alright then. Come on, guy. Make sure you let him down slowly in water. What? Water. If you let him down slowly on the ground, the bouncing is going to kill him. Yeah, I know he's on like half a heart. I'm just hoping that the uh, that the lead doesn't break while I'm flying. Oh god, he is—he is literally on half a heart. Fuck. It's a shame you can't feed sheep. Yeah, well you can, but it just doesn't heal him. Hmm. It's okay, canonically, we can just get another one, it would be the same. It, it, I mean, this isn't even the original guy He's anyway. not even dead yet! Don't talk about replacing him while you're no, hanging him over a this river. Is, this, this isn't even like the original guy, the sheep, this is... No, don't listen to your guy, don't listen to your part no, father, no, he's, he's being a guy. meanie. This guy Junior, remember? Guy died a in a we don't, guy talk, died. we don't talk about that in front of our son. <laughs> Anyway, he's nice and safe now, so we can get him over to where the cannon is. I'll go grab- I'll go grab the fence, you start bringing him around to the cannon. There we go. You meant to say that during an hour and a half and we've already done a whole segment, it's not that bad. In all fairness, it is also the smallest segment. Shut up. <laughs> oh, okay, this, this. Right. Is where we're getting into the bit cool building stuff. We need mud brick slabs. So to make mud brick slabs, we need uh, mud brick, and mud brick is dirt in a casting basin with water being poured on it. Now we have all of these things, we just have to put them together in the right order. And while I do that, I'm going to have a look at my quests, because it's blinking at me, because we actually, believe it or not, in the last stream, got two of the three final endgame ores for this mod pack. We managed to get a hold of all the modium, as well as vibranium. The last one is unobtainium, which I'm guessing is found in the end. Um, but because of this, 
we get a reward of a all the modium nugget and another all the modium nugget and we get a vibranium nugget oh let me show that how do i get things out then how do i get things out of the melter unless we didn't need the melter to begin with which would be very annoying and that would mean i could just do this and this there we go. Yeah. Does it have EMC? Would, Fingers crossed. Would, right. It does not. Okay. Do you want to risk giving it an EMC value? You can risk it. I'll. I will. I will do my best to entertain while everything breaks and crashes and is Okay. Fire. So slash project E. Set EMC. What would be a fair EMC for this? Three? Because it's mud bricks? Yeah. Set we'll EMC. Give it four. Give it four. four. Because that's like, yeah, that's round. It's called Survival of the Fittest. Oh, and it makes the love and we'll go around. I, don't, I never oh, listened to that song, to be honest. I prefer the uh, Biggering version. Yeah. You know what really weird about the lore, right? What's what's very weird about the Lorlex, Ruby? Well, I mean, think about it this way: they they explain climate change as everyone just wants to scar. Well, I mean, it's a very simplified look at, look at it, but it's not wrong. That is no, a is. contributor because of all of the it factories is. and stuff. Fashion industry is one of the biggest things that are killing us. Yeah. Well, that got depressing quick. <laughs> Do you like what's happening to the uh, the edges at the minute so far? No, I don't like the edges. Like this bit here, where it's all like nice and raised. I'm gonna cry. No, oh, come on, it looks good. It's a nice, smooth, little wavy pattern. The chests are still functioning. Next step yeah, is to not... set it to play. Running? Target too far away. Yeah, target too far away. We do have to move it. Um, the other chunks, the nearest one that we'd be able to do first would be chunk... Uh, well, we've done one, two, and five. What's the next It'd be eight. But I think we're, yeah, we're inside of chunk eight currently. We set it up on the boundary on the wrong side. We would be inside chunk eight, so we would have to move it anyway. Hmm, okay. So if we move it to the corner of chunk 5, we would be able to do chunks 4, uh, 7, and 8. Mm -hmm. So if you want to start packing all of this stuff up. Um, before we do that, though, I want to make us backpacks. We need another backpack. I found a pig! It's not Yay. a cow, but it's the first living thing I've seen in fucking ages. Hi, piggy. Yes. Hi, piggy. That's it, oink oink. Yeah, oink oink. Good piggy. Good, good piggy. So, like the big old zombies and stuff. Cow! Oh, okay. Another cow! I've got I know the leather. You are. What am I? That doesn't. Uh, uh, shut the fuck up. Right, um. How far out am I? Where's the base? The base is back this way. I have no idea how rewind works. I don't know if it's just the sky or if it rewinds the actual days or not. Um, imagine watching, like, a, uh, you know, like, something actively, like, going back in time. Like, you got fresh wheat and you're like, oh, thank god I'm starving. Mm. And it's like, wait, what? <laughs> so, it would be good if it also did it for, like, your hunger, too. Thing is, a long time ago, we're talking, I think, 1.4.7. Someone mm -hmm. was trying to develop a mod that actually included time travel in Minecraft by tracking every entity and shit. And allowing you to basically jump back to a specific point in time um uh they didn't really flesh on how um i remember seeing the dev video for it on youtube when i was really young but if they'd actually continued development i have no doubt that people would have started implementing that and like putting it in project e and stuff for the reverse oh. of the time watch oh you're 100 percent. but like mm. i feel like one thing that i would do is Probably, most likely, be buggy as fuck. Oh, yeah. Because it's going to be tracking everything. It was also really intensive because oh, of, yeah. you know, tracking everything. 
Uh, in the dev vlog, they didn't even have a model set out. It was just a white cube that followed the path. Um, right, either way, I'm back. I need to go work on the backpacks. There should be a condenser back in our house now, right? Oh, actually. Yeah, because we needed to schemata cannon in it. Yeah, there we go. Right then, so, I have now gotten us two large backpacks. I already have a backpack, so this is my second one. Um, so I can't actually wear it, but yours, um, do you know the bauble slot? Yeah. You can put yours in the bauble slot, and you can then access it just by pressing a button. I've got mine bound to button 4, which is the bottom side button on my mouse. Um, I'll let you decide what you bind yours to. I'm not binding it to anything. I'm gonna continue just taking it out of my thing itself. I will beat you to death. Here, take your backpack. No. Take your fucking backpack. I no swear way. to god. Don't be difficult on purpose or I'll make your life difficult on purpose. I'm, I'm taking not. Guy the Sheep and I'm bringing him over to the next thing. Right, so, uh, what do you need my help with moving now again? I just have the schematic cannon in the new area. Okay. Oh. Remember, Vein Miner. I don't have Vein Miner. Yeah, you do, you just don't have it bound. I've got mine bound to left alt. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you do. I'm not... What do you mean you don't know? You don't need to know anything. I just told you exactly what you need to do. No, no, I don't know. I don't know. Let me grab the cannon. Oh, yeah. shit, I scrolled over the fucking schematic. What do you mean? I told you, if you scroll over the schematic, the chances are it'll crash you because it tries to load everything in. Oh, yeah. There we are. Oh. Right, wait, hang on. I'm looking at the schematic now. I'm looking at it in the chunk. It looks perfectly fine. There are no issues with it. It's lined up perfectly in everything. So I don't know why it was having such a big aneurysm earlier. Okay, so we've got grass, dirt, and dirt, grass, dirt, and stone. There we go. That's all nice and moving all quick. And the next one we need is sand. Now sand is a bit of a pain in the ass because it's spread between the cheeks of these two pipes here. So we're gonna come. We're gonna have to come straight out on this one and up. But we're now gonna have to really quickly disconnect all of these pipes here from each other because I'm pretty sure now what that has done is it sent out grass to go into the stone it sent out nothing into the grass because it's full and nothing into the dirt because it's full so actually not a big deal it wasn't as big of a disaster as I thought it would be um but yeah so let's get this sand up and once again over the top so eventually going to bring it one higher than the rest of these so that it doesn't connect we can then bring this across like so bring it down and bring it across and then bring it down and then oh no actually we can't bring this one down because if we bring this one down it is going to connect to the watches of flowing time so we've actually got to bring this one over a little bit and then uh, across again and then forwards and then down and connect it at the front of this one in a very awkward position okay but now that we've done that we can set this one to an output and that chest there is going to start slowly filling up with sand. I think it's worth looking and see if uh, the good doctor had any stored away. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if uh, I have any left, to be fair, because I think I was too busy fighting you around the head with them. <laughs> also, according to the server logs, the reason you were kicked out is because you moved wrongly. What? <laughs> it says, Thinner Ruby moved wrongly. Thinner Ruby has lost connection somehow. You managed to move in a way that the server just considered wrong. You did something wrong. I, d I did something wrong. Okay, I didn't know. I could, okay, did I breathe wrong? Did I, I did don't I know. Wrong? It, you did moved wrong, so something you were doing when you were moving was just classed as incorrect, so it kicked you. But I was just moving. I was just clicking W, A, S, and D. I guess you got something wrong. <laughs> you failed just... the quick time event. This is just something wrong with me, I think. <laughs> I think it saw me dribbling in my camera. I was like, oh, I need to put this guy out of his misery. Mm, dribbling and drooling like a... Um, mm, not finishing that sentence. There we go. You can see it's starting to come along now. It's filling in the ocean. Do you think I should just let, let it crash and then just reboot it? I would have already alt f bought it by now. See, unlike you, I like giving computers a chance. I like, I like allowing them to live. I don't. What's this? 
Oh, now it wants quark marble because there's definitely a difference between astral sorcery marble and quark marble. There is definitely a difference. I'm... Mm, okay. Why does it want that? Why, why does it want fucking quark marble? How do you even get quark marble? Oh, shit. What the fuck? Did I find a, I found an abandoned mine shaft. Oh. It's a shame I can't explore it because my frames keep dropping. And it looks like we've actually already been here. Yeah, we have been here. This is lit up with um, astral sorcery flares. Which means that you haven't been here. I've been here. Oh. Hmm. Eldenwood bucket, coal, um, no, none of this. Oh, wait, I think I know where we are. I think I know where this is. What? Do you remember when I was doing Starsick and I accidentally burst into the furry casino? Yeah. Yeah, I found the wall to the furry casino. <laughs> oh. That's not good, man. Oh, I wondered, I wondered where we were. Right, so, I'm still on the hunt for some quark mark. Wait, there's fucking dimensional shards up here that I've never seen. Um... Yeah, fuck it, I'm restarting my client. What is this? Uh, I'm assuming that when we actually get back to doing this and we're not doing it live, our frames will stabilize again. Hopefully. Because yeah. if not, oh. I'm gonna have to start taking mods out of the pack, because apparently 300 seems to be the limit. Uh, which it will handle. I think if I go over 300, it will genuinely come to life and try to murder me. He's yeah. actually just fucking playing chess still. Yeah. Join my stream. <laughs> you actually just play chess. Oh my god. I'm gonna check the giant tunnel we made ages ago. Yeah, yeah. God, it's been a while since we've been down here. Found limestone. Well, it's a good job we're not looking for limestone then, isn't it? Astral sorcery. Uh, any non-astral sorcery marble, perhaps? Do you want to be nice? No? Okay, let's check down here. Uh, marble, 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 marble. Marble, 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 marble. How do you get this essence? That's mystical agriculture, which is the plants thing. To get marble seeds, you need any type of marble, along with prudentium mm. essence surrounding a prosperity seed in an infusion crafting table. And the prosperity seed is for prosperity shards around a wheat seed. So technically, we could make it. It would take a long time, but we could make it. But I argue that in the time it would take to make all of that, we'd end up fighting quark marble. So, your call. I'll leave it to you. Do you want to do the seed route, or do you want to just Honestly, keep looking? I do not mind. I do not mind. Yeah, I'm asking you because I'd rather keep looking, and I know you recommended the seed, which means you probably want to do the alternative. No, no, I just... I, I, I didn't know how to get that. That's okay. the thing. That, that's why I asked. It's because I didn't know how to get it. Okay. So I was like, oh, how... Like, you know, how yeah. easy or hard is it to get that thing, you know? Well, it's, it's technically easy. It'd just take a while, and like I said, it'd probably take just as long to find it naturally than it would to craft it uh speak yeah. oh i thought i'd found it that's dolomite ah i believe the server may be slightly overwhelmed you moved wrongly you you moved wrongly ruby ruby Great. He, he he gets to move wrongly, disappear, and fuck up my server, and I'm the one left to deal with it, of course. And the oh. server has stopped. Great. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't even know why it did that. Stack overflow error for you, apparently. Mm, that's fun. Jab, Java Lang stack overflow error. I'm guessing it took too long to respond, so it just killed the process, right? Probably, yeah. Thankfully, it didn't crash until I was all the way in the tunnel. So, 
straight back into things now. Let's start working on the prosperity stuff. I'm going to sleep to skip the night. Don't skip the night. I know you're looking at that bed and you're feeling kind of tired. Don't go to bed. Don't skip the night. Uh, has there ever been a Minecraft parody of a Minecraft parody? I think um, I might have found our niche. Well, no, because that would just be called a Minecraft parody that's just done poorly. Because you're... Because that, that parody, very that parody is a, it's already a parody of a song, so you're still parodying the song. All right, then, so, do we have just red carpet on standby? Because I have the wool if we need it. I don't think we do. I don't think we've ever used carpet. What? Yeah, I and think I can put not. this up here, like so. And I've gotten that wrong. Okay, how do I craft it? Really oh, sure okay. I, I replace that there, and then I take those out. There we go. Infusion pedestal. Good. Now, we can put the infusion pedestal in here at the top. And have it make them for us. Yep. Would you like to bring one of the Watchers of Flowing Time over here? Uh, That would probably be for the best, yeah, even if just temporarily. I hope you realize that the setup that we have for what is essentially like, you know, to make it uh, auto make it is like end game stuff already. Like, right. well, I mean, it's cut, it's pseudo end game. Anything in Project E is end game, but it's not the end game of the mod pack because there's a lot of other stuff that it won't help us with. Like, like anything to do with all the modium or dragons. Speaking of which, I've still got another quest up here that I missed out on. Pam's HC2 food extended brownie item. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't, th uh, this item doesn't exist anymore because we removed the mod. So instead of having a brownie, I just got a question mark. <laughs> I can't even eat it. <laughs> we should frame that. Where's the dragon head? Oh, it's in my inventory. Thank fuck. I, I thought I forgot to fucking put it up. There we go. Alright, I'll put that in there for now. Or in here. Or in okay. all of our chests. Oh, we, got, we, got, we got 38 now. 38? Oh, yeah, we, we don't need that many. You can take it back to the thing. Um, let's go set this up over here. Whee! Right then, so, with these 38 infusion pedestals. Dear God. Right, so, with these infusion pedestals, we need... Uh, first of all, we need prosperity seeds. So to make that, we need four prosperity shards, which we have probably everywhere, and a wheat seed. So if you go find the wheat seed, I'll go grab the prosperity. Probably got a shit ton of this thing lying around. Yeah, we've got five up here. How... Where do we... we have a single wheat? We can make that to wheat seeds. Hmm. We can't make wheat into wheat seeds. Okay, so if it asks for wheat seeds, we might have to EMC the individual seeds. We've got a wheat seed here, and it's got an EMC value of 16. Oh, nice, nice. It's good to know that, because I was like, oh, I'm just going to get some wheat, and I'm just going to make the seed. Like, yeah, no, you can't, you can't back work it. Yeah, take this uh, Watch Your Flowing Time back. We won't need no, it no. anymore. No, 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 keep him here. It'll be good for future. <sighs> okay. So, Prosperity Seed, we need... Well, we we don't we only need one, so go and put this in the center altar. Is what six and a half stacks of diamonds worth it? I literally just need four. Okay, so four stacks. Okay, here we I'm go. I'm going to beat. I will beat you with these diamonds until they are blood diamonds. I don't have the room for four stacks. There we go. Infusion crystal, a thousand uses left. We don't need a master crystal. We're not. Or at least I'm not planning on getting into any of this stuff. Master crystals oh. have unlimited uses, but they're like really end game for this mod. There we go. Ignoring the fact that it sounds like Hulk is currently having the time of his life over there. One there. One there. One there. Yeah. One there. And that is it. I Do we think. need a stick or something to go ooga booga? I don't know. Um, it should just give it us. This is how it is created. I don't know if we're missing something or or is what. Like Maybe it has to be daytime. 
I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna see if it has to be daytime. If not, I'm gonna type in at Mr. Clagriculture and see if there's a wand or something. You just need to activate the altar with a redstone signal. So it needs redstone. I have redstone. I don't have anything that can give out a redstone signal, though. Do you have a stick let's or just, something? Let's just turn up. Let's just make a lever. Wait, hang on. I've got a clock. There we go. That did it. It's working. And we have them. Marble seats. Lovely. Oh. Now, <clears throat> you know what? If after all of this... Even though it says it gives us the regular seed, if after all of this, it gives us the wrong type of marble, I'm not going to be very happy. If it does, we can turn it back into essence and then use stone essence to craft quark marble, but I'd, I'd hope it just does it first time. So let's go over to Dr. Phil- oh, it's, it's been filled up again. Do you have a hoe? You're a hoe. You know what? I, I'm sure he won't mind having a duplicate sweet potato in his garden. Uh... Now we need bone meal. Do now we have wait. bone meal. Wait, I have bones. I have bones. I have bones. All right, if we turn this into bone meal, that grew ze that grew zero percent. That that grew zero percent. Okay. Um, watch your flowing time. That affects crop growth. Okay. Why aren't no. they affecting crop growth? They should affect crop growth. That's the one thing I know about them, because I used them to make a factory before. Let's try the fast-forwarding like this. Is this making the sun go down quicker? Yeah, yes, it is. it is. Now we just wait. Right, while we wait on that, I'm going to make a watering can. Um, To do that, I need a bowl, bone meal, and iron. I have the bone... Well, I had the bone meal. I have the iron. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go make the rest of it. You can put the watcher flowing time away now. I'm going to use the watering can. Okay. Show me how the watering can is done. You right-click water, and you hold right-click with the watering can. Okay. And it just makes particle effects wherever you're pointing. Oh. Yeah. Fourteen percent. Yep. 42%. 85%. This is such an engaging moment, guys. We are literally watering plants. We are, in fact, touching grass. There we go. Fully grown. Nice and fully grown and ready to be harvested. What did that give you? Marble essence. Right. We now... Does that have an EMC value? No. We now need to get... Two more? Um, no. We need to get... Seven more of those. Let's start watering. <laughs> you left the game. Yeah. Oh, did you do that one on purpose? Oh, yeah. I'm I can't tell anymore. I'm gonna go make some food. Okay, you go make your food, bestie. See you later. <laughs> right then, so... Our job is now to sit here with this watering can for the next however long it takes to get a hold of some of these marble uh, essences, which we can then combine with a stone essence so that we can then create some quark stone. Now, why it's such a long and complicated process, I will never know. However, thankfully, because of, you know, just how good the watering can is, it won't be forever. You know, before, we could have kept looking just like we did for the Magical Dragon and we could have found nothing, or we could have set ourselves up with this, have it take a while, but have it confirmed that it will be there at the end, which is really, really nice. It's nice to have that reassurance. Uh, right, Stone Siege, let's go plant these over in Dr. Phil's garden, because I'm sure he won't notice if he's missing, uh, some tea leaves. So, let's drop that in there. And let's actually use this mystical fertilizer, since apparently it instantly grows plants, to just... How do I apply this? Well, it, it's not letting me apply it. Instantly grow a crop or sapling. sapling. Well, well, that was a lie, because it's, it's clearly not. Right then, there we go. Stone seeds, nice and lovely. 
So let's just pop these up here to free up a little bit of space. Let's pop up the garlic and let's grab that stone essence. All nice and lovely. So last things last, let's bring out our philosopher's stone. Put it in the center. Surround with marble. And we get ourselves some quark marble. Finally. Okay. That's good. So now that we have the quark marble, we can actually finish setting up the cannon. There we go. So hopefully that should continue to build its way up now. Oh, let me tell you, despite the fact that I'm building none of this myself, right? Despite the fact that I am building none of this myself, it is still some of the most exhausting stuff you will ever come across, I swear. There we go. The next level, it should start culling off the grass and the dirt and stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. So, while it does that, I'll just keep an eye on it. I'll stay close enough that I can hear the cannon. So, about here. And I'll just watch to see if it's uh, moving or not. But, before any of that, and my seven, five frames, Ooh. Jesus. Before any of that, I am going to go to bed. I'm going to sleep, get nice and tucked in and cozy and all of that. Because obviously I don't want to deal with phantoms and mobs and stuff, especially around the cannon. Because if the cannon were to break, I think I might actually break down as well. So the cannon and I would have something in common for once. Uh, because of all of the work that it would essentially be destroying. Uh, out of gunpowder? No, missing sandstone. So, if it's missing sandstone, swap over the pipe. Got to move the pipe over here. And then you wrench the end, and then it sucks it out, just like your ex-wife. So, we've got the coal, we've got the iron, all we really have to do is Philosopher's Stone, Python, uh, Ava Crafting, Work Hard and Iron, and let's just grab a ton of this stuff, okay? Let's just grab as much of this as we can. 48 is a very good number, even though we only needed 24. And now, if I pull... Uh, the work hardened iron out of my backpack and I throw in the regular iron and let's let's throw in the, the silk touch pickaxe and the journal uh, just for the sake of clearing out a bit of space here let's check on this to make sure that it's still firing target not loaded there we go now we can make our way over to the Ava crafting work workbench that we made in the last stream um, in order to to uh, put together the 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 python. So, pistols and python and craft, and there we go. Nice and simple, which is exactly how I like it. Right there, we have the python three five seven, which actually looks pretty good. Not even gonna lie. It even has a cool little zoom in feature. Uh, but obviously we can't fire it just yet, because as much as I would like to, uh, we don't actually have any ammunition. And while we could craft some, my favorite way of doing it so far has actually been to just kill some mobs. So that's what we're going to do, okay? When the, when the night next comes around, when we're working on the cannon, what we're going to do is we're just going to fly over and we're going to kill any and all mobs that we see so that we can generate ourselves. Oh god, the lag spike so that we can generate ourselves some ammunition boxes. It does still have this whole bit to do, uh, which it looks to be working quite well on, although I think I need to swap it out for the uh, sandstone again, if I'm, if I'm looking at this correctly. Yeah, it's going to ask for sandstone. Oh, no, it's asking for a gooseberry fruit. Now, chat, this is one of those specific items I was talking about. You see, I'll recap it again just in case you forgot, the schematic cannon has a little quirk to it in that it will sometimes ask for blocks that you can't actually acquire in survival mode. One of those being uh, tree fruits. So for example, over here, you have orange fruit. If I were to right click this, it wouldn't give me the orange fruit, it would give me an orange, okay, which is a lovely snack. I'm not gonna deny that. But the orange itself doesn't count because it's not the fruit that grows from the tree. Now, we have tried, trust me when I say we have tried, to use the shears to pick these up. And we've even tried silk touch. So if I were to break this, for example, which would take quite the while, even though I've got silk touch, Oh, 
Oh. Well then, I'm going to have to have a conversation with Ruby when he reappears. Because apparently, the little bastard didn't try Silk Touch. He just assumed that it was impossible to get after using Shears. So, it turns out we didn't need to spawn in the fruit stems. We could have just used Silk Touch. Which makes me feel like an absolute shell of a human and a fraud, but we'll get onto that at a later date. If I throw in... Well, actually, it didn't need orange fruit. What did it need? It needed gooseberry fruit. If I go and find some gooseberry fruit, I can pick it up using my iron pickaxe. I'm not sure why it needs goose gooseberry fruit, since it's supposed to be destroying the gooseberry stuff. Um, but I suppose I'll have to grab it either way. That's pine nuts. Okay, that's some pine nuts over there. Where's a tree that has go gooseberry on it? I need to find a tree that has gooseberry on it. So, while it does that, since obviously I did skip the night last night, instead of going out to find ammunition for my python, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to craft myself some python ammunition. So, python ammunition requires pistol ammo, which is packed gunpowder and work-hardened iron. Now, we have work-hardened iron, we don't have packed gunpowder, but since we have basically an infinite generator for gunpowder at this point, we can. Now it's doing its job. But the fact that it's asking for frozen gravel is good, which means it's building up. Which means it should stop finally asking for some stupid bullshit. There we go. Although I don't quite like these holes that it's generating. This is unfortunately an issue with the original schematic. It's something that I... Uh, needed to fix on the original uh, thing, uh, but that I just didn't spot um, at the time, which is not great, but it's just how things are. Um, it's usually caused by flowers uh, on the ground when you're building with World Edit, um, because for some reason, uh, if you build with World Edit, a lot of flowers are not classed as flowers. They don't break if you spawn something around them. They just stay there. They're like persistent and it is extremely annoying i'm actually going to see how to build the pistol ammo because i don't actually know um what do we got you know field knife uh smoke grenades what i'm guessing are uh, regular explosive grenades uh ammo kits right no i'm not quite after the ammo kit how do i pack gunpowder and work hardened iron do, do i put it in manually do i if I, if I put work hard and iron, can I, how do I do this? <laughs> I'm genuinely curious. I don't actually remember how to, how to do this. Um, ammo kit supplier. That could be useful. I'm assuming that since this, this mod seems to work like a, a, a building mod, an adventure map making mod, that the ammo kit supplier will give out an infinite amount of ammo kits. I could be wrong. Uh, but I think it's worth working on. Now, to get the ammo kit, you need the ammo kit one anyway. Um, so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on that. Instead of the packed gunpowder, that means I instead need uh, the fibers. And to get fibers, it's cobwebs around the iron. I can't say I've ever seen a recipe that requires cobwebs before, but it wouldn't be the first time I've had to build something strange. Thankfully, I do know where to find some cobwebs, and with silk touch and shears, I have no problem collecting them. It's just a matter of waiting for this to finish first, because obviously I don't want to leave it unattended for too long, because like now, it has stopped firing. There we go. I'm going to say the further in we go, I think the less we might actually find, because um, I, know for, I know for a fact I've had a lot of creepers detonate down here. Um, but I don't think we need all that many. 17 should be enough. If I open up my Philosopher's Stone, I open up the um, fibers. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That, make, that makes us 16. And that means we should be able to craft the ammo box one, I believe it called itself. Um, this thing, ammo kit one. It requires 30 fibers. I have 16, but thankfully they do have an EMC value. And now if I, rem if I read that correctly, I'm pretty sure that said the ammo box was infinite. 
right? Ammo provided by this item is likely applicable for all weapons. Ammo 1000 out of 1000 can be repaired with gunpowder. Infinity enchantment will slowly repair this over time, which is really good to know. Because if we can get infinity on this, that means technically we'll never run out of ammunition. And this ammo kit too, which is enchanted, I'm assuming just has the infinity on by default. Could be wrong, but then again, you know, it's it's the logical uh, it's the logical thing to think. Why is it so dark? Christ, it got dark quick out here. Okay, let's head to bed first so that we can actually see what we're doing. And then we'll hop on down into the create basement to make ourselves an ammo uh, kit one. Wow, that was so many it broke my shears. I'm actually impressed. Alright then, so throw 30, not 39, throw 29 in, save one EMC, that one. Then throw whatever comes out of the EMC machine into it. And that's the plan. Let's go team. So let's just swap the redstone one out for vines. There we go. Let's grab some of these. And let's drop these in as well. So let's just uh, chuck them up here. Boom. And then let's go load the area. There we go. You can see bo blocks being flung over, which is a good sign. Although the fact that it stopped is not. More vines. Can never get enough. Uh, can never get enough of the vines. Jesus Christ. Okay. I don't know how many vines it wants, but it's definitely too many. Finally, it doesn't want vines. Now it wants cave root. Okay. God damn it. Still not firing. What do you want? More vines. Are you? What do you want vines for? What over here is after that many vines? Seriously, there is nothing in this segment that should be asking for that many vines. Absolutely nothing. Okay, either way, let's um, let's head back to the base. Let's sleep. Let's EMC some more vines. And let's just chuck them in. More vines, which is genuinely ridiculous. Right, so, at this point, if it needs any more than another couple of stacks, I am just going to hook this up to the cannon and give it an extra... Uh, thing. Give it an extra... What's the word I'm looking for? An extra chest, an extra input. There we go. But considering that we've just had to restart to fix our frame rate, I don't want to have to restart again. Because Project E, uh, the, the reset command, kind of uh, bugs out the game. It basically... I think it puts too much uh, strain on the system. So imagine it like the schematic cannon, which is a horrible analogy, but it's the only one I can think of because, um, well, it's, it's what I've been using for the past 15 hours. But with the schematic cannon, if you have a pipe feeding in stone to the schematic cannon, like a drip, like an IV drip, it won't fire out a billion stone a second, even if it's being sped up to do so using watches of flow in time, because it can't actually get the stone in there quick enough. I think it's a similar concept where the the, the schematic cannon is uh, Minecraft and the stone is frames. Even though Minecraft is usually capable of uh, firing at, like it is now, 129 frames a second, even with shaders, usually. Um, because it's being drip-fed those frames, because it's being forced to take too long, or it's being forced to bottleneck because of something that command does, it causes stuttering, where you'll go from 129 to 0, Wait a couple of seconds, go back to 129. It doesn't happen for a little bit. Go back to 120. Uh, go back to zero. Wait a little bit, go back to 129. It stutters. It starts and stops. And I think that's why, because it's being drip-fed the frames, because it's being bottlenecked. Now, eat lead creeper. Lovely. I'm glad to know it only takes two shots. I'm saddened by the fact that my sword can do it in one, but I like the fact that it takes only two shots to do it range. Uh, so. Cave Roots, we've got a stack and 60... Ah, uh, we've got 69. <laughs> um, let's drop this in here. And let's drop this up here too. And then let's go load it. Is it doing its thing? Is it? Is it finally finished taking these? I really hope so. It looks like it's firing stone out now, which is brilliant. It means it might have actually fi uh, gone past the... Uh, fucking vines and cave root. 
Now it wants sandstone. Okay, we're getting back into the regular things now, which I'm infinitely thankful for. We're going to hook up on Dr. Phil's waystone, and we are going to use that to take us to my mushroom island, otherwise known as the Botany Hut. Because um, when I was first doing Botany Botania, for those that might not watch my other series, um, I needed a mushroom island to find a specific ore underneath. Um, I can't remember if I actually needed it to be the uh, mushroom island in the end, or if I got that wrong, but I found one anyway, and that's where I set up my Botania hut. So, that's where we're going. It's always better to have it than to not need it. I got that sentence wrong, hold on. It's always better to need it and have it. Need it and not have it. No. My brain is gone. It's always better to not... It's always better to not... It's always better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Got there in the end. Fucking hell. Right then. Um, It is the Britannia Hut. Right then. Let's grab us some mushrooms. The mushroom has an EMC value. We can take it back to our condenser over in the... Oh, excuse me. The shack, which we don't actually have a waystone for anymore. Um, hmm, interesting. And from there, we can continue working with the schematic cannon. How have I been? Uh, how am I doing? I am doing brilliantly, uh, to be honest. Um, right now... Things are running as smooth as they have the entire stream. Um, and I'm hoping that by saying that, I'm not jinxing myself. Um, but things are finally looking up. They're finally looking to be in working order, which is exactly what we are after um, on this stream with all of this equipment. Um, yeah, things are going great. Uh, that being said, I do wish I could fly a little faster because having destroyed our home waystone... It is kind of tedious to keep flying backwards and forwards between places uh, that we need to reach. But that's sort of just um, how the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid. There's not much I can do about that. I could place down a temporary waystone, but I, I don't want to. I'm, I am I, I don't feel like it. That That's the crux of my argument. I just don't want to. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's save one of these vines. Just in case we need it in the future. And let's dupe some of these mushrooms. All right, and you're missing more gooseberries. Are you kidding? How many more can you need? That, right there, that is called being gluttonous. That is called being selfish. And you have that you have worn me down mentally so much that I'm arguing with a fucking cannon now. Which, honestly, isn't too far off what people do on the internet nowadays anyway. All right then. Gooseberries. We're on the... Yeah, you're sour sop. Although I will take you anyway because... Again, if it asks for sour sop, I do need to be prepared. So, let's just collect some of this. And I'm so glad we have vein miner for this. Right then, there we go. That's sour sop. Uh, come on, just give me some gooseberries. Just a few, just a little bit. Just a tiny amount of gooseberries. That's all I need, just a little bit of goose. A little bit of the berry. Now that it is... Actually... I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to take my break. I'm just going to take my break. I'm not saying anything that will jinx it. I'm just going to eat my Pringles and shut up. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. I say, I've not heard much about Lil Yaddy, to be honest. There's a lot of rappers you hear about nowadays that have little in the name, but surprisingly, I don't know much about Lil Yachty. Is Lil Yachty any good, since you seem to know a lot about music? What do you think about Lil Yachty? Because a lot of the time, you'll, uh, or at least I've found, that uh, rappers with Lil in their name, they aren't very good. Just bluntly. So, let's see. It was asking for peaches next. Now, I know I've come across quite a lot of peaches um, throughout my travels around the edge of the map, but I don't actually remember... Never mind, this up directly here. I don't need to remember, they were right in front of me. So, let's collect these peaches, chuck them in the grass chest like we've been doing, just because we don't actually have an empty chest. And after these couple of fruit, since it's asking for a lot of fruit, I'm assuming it's like the last layer of fruit. After this, it should just be under the, the stone sand 
uh, dirt and grass, which means this segment is nearly done. Pink Floyd. Now that's a band that I've obviously heard of before. I mean, Pink Floyd are like, they're, they're, they're donkeys years old. They're, they're, they've been around for a long time. Pears. Uh, ooh, apples. No, none of them. This is a spruce forest, so they're not going to have any fruit. Uh, what are these? Nutmeg. Uh, ooh, lemon. Lemon! Yay. I'm, I think next week, that's actually the, the other fucking one that we were looking for earlier. If I take this out, and then I take... Oh, no, these were chestnuts. Never mind, I thought they were the one we were looking for earlier. Although those in the background might have been the one we are looking for earlier. Those guys. Let's have a look, shall we? These are peaches, never mind. And these are apples, so I was wrong on both counts. Yay! Oh! Shit. Is that why? I always thought his face looked hot, like, demented from the facial reconstruction. How, how do you... How does a Pepsi ad go so badly that it burns off your face? Like, I know there's the whole meme of, oh, you can, like, cal uh, decalcify a tooth, or you can dissolve a tooth in Pepsi or whatever, but Jesus Christ, what, did they put fucking acid in it? How do you burn your face off with Pepsi? Did he fall in a vat of the fucking stuff? Right then, so, unfortunately, our search for the plums was cut short. Um, I'm really annoyed that you keep spinning. It's actually getting on my nerves. But... Fortunately, since all of these are constantly producing EMC, eventually they're going to get full, which means I can just do this and have a full Klein Star in no time. I've just got to wait for it to for it to for it to build up. Ugh. And plump. Is that it? Need anything else? Don't tell me you need more plums. No one wants more plums. Pears! I should have picked some of those pears up. I knew I should have picked some of those pears up. Oh, well, at least we know that there are some pears nearby again, so we can go and collect them again for when the machine asks us again to go and collect some... Plums. The plums were right there the whole fucking time. Of course, I need to be able to see to do that, so I actually do need to wait for the sun to appear. Because even without shaders, on the brightest fucking setting, I can't see anything at night. I don't think these zombies have met the power of America yet. Christ, how many of you are there? Oh shit, it's going night time. I've left it I've let it go on too long because I was too busy fighting. Oh, for God's sake. You are shitting me. What is shooting me? What are you? Why are you shooting me? We're supposed to be neutral, aren't we? I haven't done anything to earn favor with any of the other factions. And I didn't hit him, I hit the fucking spider. Right, well give me the watch back first of all, so that I can wait for daytime. Like that. And now I'm going to deal with this cunt. Like so. <laughs> nothing? Nothing. Just absolutely nothing. F3A, is that going to fix you? No? Are you broken? 
Why are you broken? What happened? I, I gave you everything you want. Why are you broken? Why are you broken? Why are you broken? Why are you broken? Okay. So apparently, <laughs> you're not going to fucking believe this. It's apparently, <laughs> according to this person that um, has also had the same issue, it is apparently caused by the cannon being loaded for too long. It has been loaded for too long. So if I disconnect and reconnect, it should actually fix it. That crashes my game. Got it. Okay. Or not. That's a first. Okay, so with section 7 finally squared away and completed, we can now move on to section 8. Or rather, section, 8B, uh, section 8A and section 8B. Because, unlike the other schematics, except for section, I think, 9. Yeah, section 8, section 9, and section 6, surprisingly. Uh, the, these have A and B, whereas these segments only had one per thing. Speaking of which, I am going to finally bring out the schematic paper from my backpack, because it is taking up quite a bit of space that could be used for other shit. So, if we throw this in up here, there we go. We can then take uh, section 8-1, and we'll take section 8-2 with us, but we'll only put one in at a time, obviously, because otherwise it's going to completely fucking backfire. And we've got to remember now, before we do anything, we've got to flip off the watches of flowing time. We've got to dial it back, all the way back, for safety reasons. Otherwise, it has the potential to crash not only us, but the server, and initiate a crash loop. And what does it want? This time it is... Of course. Of course. It's a shame it doesn't have an EMC value. It's concerning that it doesn't have an EMC value, to be completely honest. You'd think, of all things, Mossy Cobblestone might have an EMC value, but it doesn't. Which is really, really, really weird. I also have no idea what the fuck. Why the fuck? Wait, it does. Mossy Cobblestone doesn't have an EMC value, but Mossy Cobblestone walls do. That is the strangest fucking... Okay. Grey flower, grey flower, light grey flower. Light grey mystical flower. I need a light grey mystical flower. Yeah, this guy, senior IT worker, has been on sick leave since 2008. Tried to sue a tech giant for discrimination because he hasn't been given a pay rise. Okay, first of all, who the fuck is discriminating against you? You look like... You look like Pierce Morgan if he was middle class and slightly older. And you have the facial hair of someone who licks Cheeto dust from their fingers, okay? No one is going to discriminate against you. Alright, let's read more about this news article, shall we? So, it is night time, so let's just quickly swap this out. Where are we? Were we? Oh yeah, we were here. We were looking... 156 frames! Frames! We are absolutely back, my babies. Uh, but we were looking for the mystical light grey flower of destiny. So, when the sun comes back and I can actually fucking see. There we go. Let's keep looking. Nah. No! No! Why do you want coal or No. Hip purple sand? Yes, I can get you there. We have that for a reason. I'm 
not getting you fucking close. Why do you want coal ore? For what purpose do you want coal ore? I can't get coal ore because we broke the fucking salt touch pickaxe. Ah, uh, it's gonna make me get another salt touch, isn't it? Ah, uh, all these pickaxes. All these pickaxes for nothing. Okay, let's start working on making some more. A pickaxe goes in enchant, enchant becomes useless, efficiency 2. Again, not what we need, so it goes in the useless chest. Right then, next up, believe it, believe it or not, the fucking next one's gonna be a really big surprise. It's another stick, and another stick, and another three iron, and another fucking pickaxe. And we're gonna put that fucking pickaxe inside of the fucking crafting table, and the fucking crafting table is gonna give us fucking growth. And we're gonna take this useless fucking growth pickaxe, and we're gonna put the useless fucking growth pickaxe in the useless fucking tools chest. And then next, we're gonna make another pickaxe. So we're going to turn the wood into planks, and we're going to turn the planks into sticks, and we're going to turn the sticks into a pickaxe, like so. So we're going to take the pickaxe. We're going to put the pickaxe inside of the enchantment table, and the enchantment table is going to give us tombstone soul bound at efficiency 2. So again, it's going to go in the useless chest. And then we're going to go back over to the philosopher's stone, and we're going to make another two sticks into another two... Uh, pieces of a handle and then we're going to bring three irons across the top and then we're going to get another iron pickaxe and that iron pickaxe is going to go in the crafting table the crafting table the enchantment table and it's going to give us growth one and we're going to take that growth one pickaxe we're going to put that growth one pickaxe inside of the useless pickaxe two so bad chest and we're going to the philosopher's stone we're going to turn these two sticks and take the pickaxe handle and we're going to turn these three irons and we're going to take the pickaxe 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 and we're going to take the so <laughs> <laughs> and then from there we're going to open the first of the stone for the next two steps across the bottom we're going to get to the table and 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 we're going to get to Philosopher's stone, iron, iron ingots, iron ingots, iron helmet, iron helmet, iron head. Can't use the iron head just yet, gotta turn logs into planks, planks into sticks, sticks into handles, handles, need a head, iron head across the top, iron head, iron pickaxe. Drop out of both, iron pickaxe, enchantment table, enchantment table, disappointment. Efficiency 2. Sticks, iron, pickaxes, pickaxe one. So, so mm, mm, mm. <laughs> finally. <sighs>
I had to stop myself from screaming. It is 4 a.m. <sighs> Silk Touch and it has on Breaking 3. There is no better combination. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> okay, right now, right, I f fuck the rest of these, the rest of these can go in here, right, so, after all of that, all of that, all of this, and all of this, I finally got it, oh my god, I can finally move on with the rest of this fucking thing. I'm looking at the time I've been live. This has genuinely nearly been two hours that I've spent searching for this pickaxe. Right, let me take that. Let me take this raw coal ore and finally feed it to the machine god like it asked for. Now what does it want? Nothing? Good. It can fucking run. It wants something now, doesn't it? Spruce logs. I can do spruce logs. I can do spruce logs. I know where to find spruce. We can get spruce logs. We can make this nice, quick, and easy on the machine. Which is brilliant. I think we just found some pear fruit, actually. Yeah, we did. Nice. Let's just deal with that threat before it becomes a threat. Right then. Let's just take these. Nice and quick. Not at all awkward, just waiting for it to break. There we go. Right, so, let's, uh, grab this, move the cobblestone out of the way, move the cobblestone out of the way. Pear fruit, hopefully, 12 will be enough, because if I'm correct, yeah, we're not in this quadrant anymore, so that shouldn't need to be replaced in the future. So now, let's just drop the Inferium, because we don't really need the Inferium right now. Look, it's starting to build the entranceway, it's starting to take shape! Although, I think I will need to manually come through and put water down. Um, in these holes. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm gonna have to come around with some water. Um, so, do I have a bucket on me that I can use? Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think the schematic cannon actually handles water very well. Um, so, yeah, I, I am gonna have to... Yeah, I, I nearly missed that. I am gonna have to manually just go around and put that water back in. Because otherwise, these crops just, they're, they're not going to grow. So if I just, uh, yoink these, and then head back over to the box, I'll let it keep running. Unfortunately, this is one of the ones that is going to require high maintenance. Uh, this middle one required barely any maintenance at all. But the reason this one requires high maintenance is because this actually has a lot of man-made buildings within the schematic versus the other ones, which is natural natural terrain generation so stone sand dirt grass stuff like that so i can't really just leave this one on its own what next book fence again another man-made structure let's pull out our philosopher's stone let's stick it up in this his house i've completely forgotten how to make fucking fences uh god damn it right let's do that and then I think it's one on either side, and then stamp- no, that's a fence gate, okay. So it's actually sticks in the middle, and wood on either side. So if I just- if I just do this, and then wood on either side, and stick in the center, there we go. That gives us 21 fences, so let's get these fences in. There we go. And now it wants snow. Why do you want snow? Okay, you know what? Fine. You want snow? I'll get you snow. You can pick up snow with a shovel. I'm pretty sure you can still touch snow, but I'd rather just get the snowballs and craft, craft it. Ooh, it's getting dark. Let's fix that with a control truck. Bam. Right then. So, snowballs into snow blocks. Into no, no pun intended. How do I create flat snow using this? Is there a way to create flat snow? Oh, you can. You need the snow blocks to create the flat snow. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. So if I do that, and then I do that. There we go. And then I head back to the machine. I can then pull out the Philosopher's Stone. And then I can turn the snow blocks into the small snow, just like that. Let's just 
take a wander over and have a look at the progress in the meantime. Hmm. That's a bit weird. Usually it would ask for lanterns on the bottom of these. I... In fact, it would, a it would ask for lanterns inside of these. I'm not sure why it hasn't yet, to be completely honest. Maybe, maybe it skipped them? It shouldn't have done, but there should be lanterns in these trees. If it skipped them, I might have to re-go over this, just in case. Right, either way, candle nut, and if we re-go over it instead of collecting all of the resources again, I'll just use a, uh, a special crate that will basically just ensure that everything works properly. The way I see it, I've already collected the resources once. If I have to go over it again, it's, it's fine. Right, um... Candle nut. Right, I nearly forgot what I was going for. Hello, hello, hi everybody. I am back. Nice to see you all. Nice, my crops are already growing. Although from the looks of it, it's not actually started placing in uh, the water around the edges yet, which is something I need to fix. If I want these things to keep growing as they are. Right then, so walnut, 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 walnut. Okay, so we need Section 8, Part 1. That was Section 8, Part 1. Where's Section 8, Part 2? What have we got left? We've got shit -shire segment, shit shit -shire sh segment 3, which is this bit here. This is 3. We've got 6, 1, and 6, 2, which is 6, 1, and 6, 2. And we've got 9, 1, and 9, 2. Which is 9 1 and 9 2. So where the fuck's. Th it was in my inventory. It was in my fucking inventory. Okay. Right then. See, there are lanterns on the end in the schematic. And there's supposed to be lanterns inside the tree as well. I should know. I built the fucking thing. So the question is, why aren't the lanterns there? Okay, I give. What the fuck's an owl? Can I make one? Nope. You can only store them in botany pots. Of course. Weird looking fucking plant. I feel like we might have to skip the owl. It's such a specific flower that only spawns under a specific tree. And I have no idea what the fuck this specific tree even looks like. Which wood trees are white? They have white leaves. Spot a tree with white leaves, everybody. In this massive sea of very green, very yellow leaves. Spot the white tree. Spot the tree with white leaves for me. I'll wait. Spot the tree with white leaves in this area. That's funny. I don't see one. So if Alm only spawn under witchwood trees, and witchwood trees are literally white-leaved, why the fuck is it asking for one over here? Hmm? Where is the witchwood tree? Where do you see a witchwood tree? I'm spawning in a fucking elm. I don't care. I do not care. It is one flower. A flower that we will probably never use. And it is what is stopping me from getting in my lanterns. So slash spawn. Alm. I don't know how to use slash spawn. Slash gift. The 13th drifter. Ars underscore novo. Novio. Aum. Give me an aum. 
in order for the machine to start to fire things off again. So, in an effort to save time, here's some walnuts. Um, let's see, here's some candle nuts. And here's the avocado. Now what? Okay, now it's after the aura blooms, which it should have already taken some, to be fair. But on the off chance that it didn't take uh, enough, I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to grab these aura bloom from here. It did already fire some off, so I'm hoping two is going to be enough. But in the event that it's not, we can just go and grab some more. It's not like it's a big trip. So, coming on down here, going into the chest, we can then place the aura bloom in place of the frozen gravel. And we can let this thing go on a mad one. Like so. It's in candle nut. I gave you candle nut. Yes, you used it all. Right then, let's go find some more candle nut. And while we do... It still didn't place the lanterns, which is really starting to get on my nerves. Right then. Uh, the other candle nut were around here somewhere. Yeah, see, it's right there. The lanterns are right there, and I don't know why it's skipping it. So, what I'm going to do in order to fix that issue is... I'm going to give myself one of these. Okay, I'm going to delete it right when I'm done. Because I want this to be as vanilla as possible. But I'm going to give myself one of these. I'm going to go back into survival mode for a second. I'm going to... I'm going to reset my ring so I can fly. And then I'm going to replace... Just one of these chests. If I scroll up and then... There we go. I'm going to replace one of these chests... With this crate. Do this. Do this. Wait for it to crash my game. Yep. Oh, that went quicker this time. I'm going to do this. Let's go see if it actually adds in the fucking lanterns now. So if I now just put this in my trash light along with this, and then I stuff it down with some of this so I can't get it back. Oh, it did put my lanterns up. So for some reason, it thought skipping my lanterns would be okay. I'm actually kind of peeved at that. It's missing quite a lot of seeds, which is actually quite, um, sad. There is no fucking way this is the first time I am getting that achievement. There's also no way that I'm not able to place seeds here. I should be able to place seeds here. It's weird that I... It's weird that it won't let me. Huh. Odd. Well, let me place them here. Fix the chest that we broke. By uh, replacing it with another one of these chests. And we can then... Move on to schematic segment 8. Version A. So... Take tile entities, replace all with empty. Let's load it up. Now it wants... Certus Quartz Ore. Are you nuts? Get away from the sheep. Get away from the sheep. Bitches. Right, well... So does Quartz Ore. I mean, I can get it. I don't know why you want it, but I can get it. It's granite? Granite. Really, you want granite? This shit. You want this shit? You want granite? I mean... Okay, but... Why? I mean, why? <laughs> Right, let's, um, let's head on over to the computer to see if we've got any granite stored up. I mean, that's the weirdest fucking blow. Why would you ask for granite? I didn't feed you granite. 
I raised you better than this. We actually don't have any granite. I am befuzzled and bewildered. There we go. I knew we'd find some. Question is, how much of it can I get before I starve to death? And while I'm here... I heard that. I don't know what that was, but I heard that and that sounded fucking terrifying. It's underground with me. There's a cave nearby. Okay. Yeah, who teen your mama? I don't care. You know, you find a lot of this shit when you're not looking for it. I can steal a seed from. Please tell me we've got some grass that I can steal a seed from. <sighs> Wait. You can't be serious. Why the fuck are you here? You can't fucking be serious. You can't be fucking with me, darling. You can- I, I just- No, we're past it. We've moved past it. We're not going to address it. We are moving past it. Stop giving me weed. I want seeds. You know what? While it does all of these seedy things, I'm actually going to grab my bucket real quick and make sure that it is still filling up with water. Because if it's not, these seeds are going to die out very quickly and it's not going to be very fun for them. Yeah, see, these seeds aren't getting the water they need. These seeds need water and I need to provide that water. So I need to find a source of water. An infinite water source, if you will. One, two... Buckle my shoe, three, four, buckle some more, five, six, Nike kicks. Is there any other way to make an infinite water source? The only thing I know of is the chalice. <laughs> well, that requires the void tier, which requires the slime pole, which you can't get anywhere but killing a slime. And I don't know where to find slimes. Do. Do, 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 Okay, 14. It can handle 14 buckets. Let's head on that over, over back to the area that needs the, the water the most. Around here. Okay, so. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, fourteen blocks. It's really not that great. Still better than nothing. <laughs> oh, you're shitting me! Do 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 ba ba. Bitch ass. Have I fucked up this lake? I thought this was an infinite water source. What the fuck? Whoops. I thought I had less than that. Okay, so admittedly, this isn't taking as long as I thought it would uh, without the um, chalice, but it is still taking quite a while, but it's not taking as long as I thought it would, which is always nice. So if we just put this up here now, and then we can go like this. See, 
see. That is what I'm worried about. I cannot fucking believe it. Just let me do that. <laughs> Where did the tank go? Where the fuck did my tank go? What? I oh, the server's lagging. Okay. I thought it had just fucking up and disappeared on me then. I gotta say, what kind of poor ass lucky is that? There we go. Gimme. Bitch ass. Right then. Let's just quickly wait for the night to pass. Stretch. Stretch your arms. Stretch everything. <laughs> oh, I'm never doing that again. I look so fucking... Um, Tart adjacent, I think, is a nice way of putting it there. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull a little sneaky here. And we're going to do something called getting high on your own supply. We're going to take the Inferium that it placed down for us in this vein here. And we're going to replace it with some stone brick. No harm, no foul. So, if we now bring this all the way back to the chest, like this, and stick it up here. There we go, that was enough for it. Last bit it needs is more o orange spruce, le spruce leaves. I almost called it oak sponge leaves then, which isn't a great pronunciation. Okay, yeah, we've got some oak orange spruce still saved there, so we can just plop this into here. I can't see anything. I'm looking for Inferium. Yes, so I need to be able to see. Yes. Right. Okay, so, the easiest way to find Inferium is, uh, open, uh, stone biomes, like this one, on the side of mountains, or to dig into them at a pretty high Y level. Because I'm pretty sure you find, um, you find Inferium towards the top, and you find the other ore, uh, lower down, I think it's Inferium Prosperity, if I'm remembering correctly. And uh, we've done all we need to with prosperity. We've we've touched that for yeah. We've touched that so much it's dead. Um, right. So prosperity, not prosperity. In, uh, the other one, infirmary, infer infirmity in in for oh for fuck's sake. In inferium. That's the name. Inferium. Oh god, I've got a memory like a sieve. Alright then, so, uh, Inferium, 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 Inferium. I like how I say that as if saying it's gonna make it magically fucking appear. I say, as it magically fucking appears. <laughs> so, looking for some Cerro Blossoms. If we don't find any, they are pretty common, especially in magical forests, and we do have one of those, well, around us, we are in one, but we also have one uh, over that way, over yonder, in front of us. Yeah, here we go. Cereblossom, Cereblossom, uh, that's a cyan rose, Cereblossom, uh, Cereblossom, 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 there we go. Do, 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 do. Come on, let's just fly on over to the chest, hopefully. Six will be enough. I don't even know why it needs them again, but like always, I am willing to supply. So let's drop this up here. Oh my god, that was a big old leg spike. And what does it want now? More seeds. Manageable. We can do seeds. Yay. Do these things have any EMC value? They do. I'm just going to EMC some of these things. It, it'll be quicker that way. Spruce logs. Haven't had that request in a while. I'll give you that. Lag spike. There we go. It's starting to even itself out. Ah, uh, this is what it's wanting it for. Okay, so while I'm up here, this thing has a bucket mode enabled, so I'm assuming I can just keep taking until it's full. Um, and if that's the case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here and test it. I might just be able to use this as like a a fourteen thing bucket. 
Yeah, I can. That's cool. I like that. I like that they added that functionality. They haven't had functionality like that in tanks for as long as I've I've known them. So it's really good to see it be introduced finally. There we go. So let's put this one down here. Uh, like, how do I? How do I? How do I use bucket functionality for this? Also doubles as a bucket. Okay, but how do I get it to double as a bucket? Do I do I left click? Shift left click? Shift right click? Ah, oh, shift right click. Okay. What does it want now? More orange leaves. Lovely. Put this in here. It's going to burn through those very quickly. Yep. And I'm guessing now it wants some more of them. So let's just put them in preemptively without even looking. There we go. It's finally firing off up there. Unfortunately, there was nothing. There's nothing we can really do to change that. It is quite literally called the past for a reason. All we can really do now is focus on making sure we have a better future, making sure that people are still able to uh, have access to their cultures, the ones that haven't already been destroyed. You know, there's nothing we can do to change what's already been done, but we can certainly make a better future for everyone. At least that's the goal. Why is that still firing? Ah. Snow. Of course, it wants snow, of all things. Well, at least I can get that. We've got to quickly give ourselves a creative crate. I'm going to go back into survival mode. I'm going to re-equip the ring so that it doesn't break, and then we're going to place this down here. Now, again, unfortunately, I don't want to have to do this. It is a necessary evil, but in order to make sure it didn't skip any blocks, we do have to just run through it like this. This will ensure that the lanterns are put in the proper place. And then we can move on to the next segment, which is segment 9. Which means we'll only have two left once that's done. So I think the easiest way to do this, and the way that's going to keep me sane the longest, is if I just, um... Since Ruby, one of my friends, decided to log off with all of my cardboard boxes... I think I might just do, um, what is it? Here we go. Up here. Slash up one. <laughs> right click. Break the glass. And then, um, <laughs> slash slash cut. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's so much stuff. As long as I don't look at it, I think it'll be fine. Oh god, what have I done? And if I do slash slash paste. Okay. If I can find... Yeah, there's my bucket. I'm gonna go into the basement. I'm gonna grab the blue soul fire that we got from Super Hell. Um... And I'm just going to pour that on the stuff that spawned in, since I don't want any duplicates. Um, yeah, let's just, um, let's just do that. I don't know if I believe you when you say you've got a pet monkey or not. Oh, so it doesn't burn anything. It just sets everything on fire. This has just made the situation worse. It didn't burn anything. It just set fire to the grass. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, never mind. We're not using soul fire lava to fucking burn the, the thing. I guess we're just using regular lava instead. Right, let's just go down here and grab some normal lava. Well, that certainly did some work for me. Oh no. 
Oh no, where did my sheep go? My sheep. I've had him since the start of the series. Where did my sheep go? Oh no. Oh fuck, I've lost the sheep. Oh no. Oh, my friend is going to kill me. I've lost the sheep. Um. Well. What we're going to do is we're going to pretend that that didn't happen. And what, how, we're, we're going to do that by um, finding a replacement sheep quickly. We're, we're going to find a replacement sheep very quickly so that we don't... So, Oh, God. Oh, no. This isn't good. I've lost my sheep. My poor little sheep. He did nothing wrong. I can't believe I lost my sheep. Going to 9B. There we go, 9-2. Ah, oh, shit, I put it in my hand. God damn it. Uh, yep, that looks about right. Brilliant. Although this tree doesn't exist anymore. Never mind, it, I guess it still does. Stone spe- Stone spellathum? How the fuck do you make a stone spellathum? I didn't even know that had a name. Three stone in a row. Well, I'll be fucked. Okay. Let's go get some smooth stone and make a stone spellathum. And then I start claiming these chunks along here. Which is gonna start adding up. Let's start claiming this area. And then set it to force load. then it should technically not require me to be stood over here. How do I force load it? Ah, uh, there we go. So if I now just select this entire area with force load, I should be able to go back over to the cannon and keep it loaded. Where's my wrench gone? I can't believe I've misplaced my wrench again. Which fucking one have I put it in now? Where's my wrench? Ah, uh, come on, how do you lose your goddamn wrench? I think I picked possibly the worst time to actually set that command off, because not only did the server decide to update when I sent it off, but it's also now going through all of its fucking IDs. Which is just great. Ugh. Let's see how long it takes to respawn, shall we? Okay, that's the client that's gone, not the server, from the looks of it. Oh? 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 It's running through him. Mm. That's fair. It timed me out. I can't believe I got timed out on my own fucking server. Oh, it crashed. It just fully crashed. Okay, well. In that case, <laughs> let's reboot the server and see what happened. Slash project E set EMC2 slash reload. And then, keep an eye on the server logs, while it reloads all of that shit. And I think it just finished. Wait, hang on. It gives you a list of EMC exploits! Hold on a fucking second! There are EMC exploits all over this bitch. Okay, I do pull up. I'm copying all of these. Hold on. It's just telling me how to break the game. <laughs> the server log is telling me how to break the game. Convert, download, gameplay.
sources. Fucking, what do we got here? Media file. You do PNGs? No, image. Here we go. Let's add an image. Add a source. Browse. Downloads. But, but. Here we go. Let's fucking open this up. Do, 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 and then I need to put some text up as well. So if I grab some text, fucking text, here we go, add source, add a new source. And then I type in what, uh, gone for food. Be back soon. I change this from, <laughs> I could have it in Gallifreyan. <laughs> I'm going to go get a sandwich from uh, the corner shop. Gone for food, be back soon, here we go. And then if I do alignment, center. Uh, done. Gone for food, be back soon. And then underneath, if I add a um, screen capture or video capture? Screen capture, I think. Add source. Uh, no, it's not screen capture. What is it? What am I using to record this with? This is a fucking, what is this? It's, 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 um, game capture. That's it. If I add source, game capture, add source, this one, then shrink it. Put it in the bottom corner. There we go. Right then. So that is my announcement. I'm going to go get food. I will be back soon. Yes. Right then, I'm back. I just got back from the shop. Time to have my lunch. <laughs> uh. So, what do we got here? Let's see what we've got. We've got tuna and mayo and a sandwich. One of my favorites, to be fair. Okay, let's numb this down. Ah, oh, you're still here. Hello, Anir. You're still here. Ah, that rhymed. So, hmm. All right then. Let's get this down me, and then let's get this base nice and built. Bye bye, Anir. Anir, it was really good to have you here. It's nice to talk to someone. I, uh, I hope you have a good day. See ya. Right now, it is currently asking for some more fucking snow. So I'm going to go get some more fucking snow, and I will uh, see you whenever I choose to cut to next. Okay, so 17 more spruce logs. Admittedly, it would be easier to just get a book and read out every single thing that we need, but in order to collect it all, it would take just as long as this. So in total honesty, I'm not actually all that fussed. And from the looks of it, it's actually finally just finished this segment. All it's missing is some slimy vines, which I'm guessing... Are from the slime island? Yeah, there's a... There's a slime island over here, so I'm guessing it wants some for this for some reason, even though they're already here. So if I, if I just, um... Soap touch, maybe? No, it has to be shears. Okay. And I'm guessing I just broke my last set. Yep. I broke my last set of shears. So, if I want this thing, I need to get some iron, build some shears, go nuts. Good thing I know where there's some iron. That's a baby zombie. Do I dare ask why? Oh, it's a dungeon. Interesting. Uh, 
sorted. Right, well. I doubt I'm gonna find a glow shroom in one of these, but it's at least worth, like, checking and fucking... Uh, oh, no, nope, didn't mean to do that. And looting uh, to see if there are any glow shrooms in here. Stay still so I can kill you. Oh, yeah. I think I found a bug with the ammo box. Uh, last place I can think to check would be my star sick base. So if I go over here, just temporarily register the unnamed waystone. Let's go to, I think it's temp. Okay. Okay. So if there's none in any of our chests, that means, thank you, Leaf, thank you. That means I'm gonna have to go and find it manually wherever the fuck it is, or, or get this. I could ignore your advice, <laughs> because, um, I didn't put this in the schematic, because I didn't want to build with a glow shroom in the schematic. And I could just do this. I could do this. I could do this, and I could just move on with the fucking build, because who cares about a few tiny goddamn glow shrooms? Finally, something I do have access to. Look, as much as I would normally like to go on a hunt for a single flower to flesh out watch time, I've been streaming for 15 hours. I have streamed for 10 hours yesterday, and I've got to edit all of that down into a maybe hour-long video at the most today, as well as record an episode of Starsick today, which goes out tomorrow. I do not have time to go on the hunt for a single, for a single flower. I think I've accidentally forgotten to... Um, put down some mud brick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna borrow this one very quickly. It's gonna it's gonna require me to use the shovel, doesn't it? There we go. I'm just gonna take this mud brick slab really quickly. I'm gonna dupe it and then I'm gonna go put it back. There are no more gaps. It's all back to how it should be, I think. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that worked. Right, so, now that that's done. Mind the frame drop for some reason. Despite running usually at 120, uh, it's currently shitting the bed. It's been doing it all day. Um, let's drop that in there. And then let's drop that in there. So, um... Let's grab 9-1, the paper for 9-1, and then put it in here, and regenerate, guys, if you 9-1. So you can find the little can in the wood, or in this case, the little can that just fucking tried his best and didn't really do much else. Nice. Let's stop firing because it's missing frozen gra What? You have a frozen gravel deposit. It's this one. Oh, yeah. For some reason, the pipe bug didn't it. Hold on. Boop. You get in there faster than you can fucking use it. That's a close. Check that shit out. Don't that look fucking pretty? I think it does. I mean, check that shit out, man. Looks pretty as hell. Looks pretty as hell. 
God damn. That shit look pretty as hell. <laughs> uh, I love it when it works. Because when it works, it just works. Oh, out of gunpowder. An error that I actually like to see for once, because it actually means the fucking thing has been working. So, if we throw in some extra gunpowder to the machine over here, and we hit play, it should finish up, because there's honestly not too much left to do up there. I'm going to start filling it in with water, um, just so that when the time comes, these plants won't die out, because admittedly, that's the last thing we need. So, there we go, that one's already empty, so if we just start filling this up again with the source block here. That's it, we can start clicking around the outside of the plant, like so. It is going to run off there, but uh, who cares, um, because that will get filled in eventually by the rest of the farm. Uh, but for now, it's just sort of going to cause a mess down there with the, uh, the flowers. So yeah, just ignore that now. <sighs> So, 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 my client star should be charged by now, right? Let's take a look in there. Yep, I knew it'd be quick. So, since my client star is charged, I can go flying around again. 
since I can go flying around again, what I can do is I can go to somewhere where we haven't mined before. So, for example, I can go to Phil 2. Which is spoilers for a series that hasn't come out yet, so, uh, close your eyes. I can wander out of the way. I can wander off into the distance. No, I can't. That's spoilers. I can wander off this way. And I can dig down. There's my aluminum. Hello, sexy. Nice. That's six. But I don't trust six. I need more. Strip mineral log. Okay, this is where all of this shit's gonna start coming into play now. For the barn and everything. Which means we are actually finally past the point that is, uh, going to mentally, uh, drive me insane. So let's grab all of this. And let's grab all of this. There we go. And then let's grab all of this. Sorry, Ruby, but your barn will be reinvigorated, given new life in a much better form. So now if we just, oh no, get rid of the sand. Surprisingly, the strip logs don't have EMC, but the stairs and the wood does. So um, let's just, let's just drop this in here. I don't know, let's replace the fucking iced thing. I replaced it with the wrong thing, didn't I? Let's replace this. And now what do you want? A waystone. Because I just have those on hand, don't I? We've got some fresh meat in the community. Why don't you show them a little love? Hey there, Lily Tree HRTs. Very nice of you to join us. I, uh, you almost, you quite jump scared me with that there, I'm gonna be really honest. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you for joining us. So, I need to make myself a axe. So, Philosopher's Stone. So no, Philosopher's Stone. Let's open this up. Let's craft ourselves a diamond axe. There we go. And now we need to lay out the actual strip mineral logs because unlike the rest of them, we don't actually have an EMC value for these. So we need to do this by hand. There we go. So let's just lay them out in a nice uh, little square pattern here, a little five by five. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just add some corners in. Doesn't have to look nice, it's not gonna stay there, it just has to be strippable. And have it continue to build the lovely little barn. There we go. It's actually doing its work now. In fact, I think it's working on the farm area at the minute. I think I saw a couple of uh, farm blocks fly overhead. Uh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it working on the farm? No, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, I I must have been, I must have been completely uh, wrong there. But yeah, let's pick that up. Let's pick that up. Let's pick that up. And then let's pick this up. There we go. All right, and that's fifty-four. You know what? I think fifty-four will do. Fifty-four will be grand. Can you EMC? You can EMC mineral logs. But you can't EMC stripped mineral logs. Which is... Really strange when you think about it. I need to finish this in one live stream. And I'm nearly done. I'm like in literally the home fucking stretch. 
Have I had a break? I've eaten. Um. Yes, I've had a beak. I have had a duck beak. It is going quack quack. <laughs> Are we playing this one shot? Yeah. I am. This is, um. It's, uh, it's a private server. It's, um. Run off of my computer. And, uh. We have a couple of people that come on and, and play. Um. There's me. There's a guy called Ruby. Um. And there's someone we call Ducky, um, who comes on. He doesn't really play as himself very often because, um, half of this series is like old school, just commentary gameplay. Um, and half of it is like roleplay. So whenever we need people to play NPCs and shit, Ducky's the guy we call. So, I think that that was all of the different lines, so, now with the cracks done, I might, I think it's, um, um, uh, stairs. Crack stone. Stairs. What does it want now? Now it wants mud brick slabs. I can do that. <laughs> I didn't even get the therapy of shooting him. Right. I can't even pick up the health pack. Difference is I am nearly done. <sighs> I zoomed out too far, so now my game's gonna lag. I'm gonna kill myself. Alright, so. I finished segment one. I finished segment two. Uh, three is the last one I've got left. Done four, done five, done six, two... Done six one, working on six two. Done seven, done eight one and eight two, nine one and nine two. You just started MMA three weeks ago. Oh yeah, nice. MMA is great. It's honestly like one of the 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 better the best, in my opinion, fighting disciplines around at the moment. It's 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 great. Let's go into here. Throw in number three. There we go. Hit play. Fair enough. I mean, as long as you're chill with it, you know. As long as they're not, like, obviously trying to push you to add them or anything dodgy like that, you're fine. And play. Target not. Oh, fuck off, his target not loaded. The target is this tiny square in the corner. Fine. For more vines, all I have to do is replace the seeds over here. Like so. There we go, let's pop this up here. And let's pop this up here, and then let's get close enough that it'll start firing off. There we go. I've kind of, I've got, to, I've kind of got to watch it from a distance now to make sure it doesn't stop like moving around. Hopefully, it um, it doesn't. We're hoping that it doesn't, but it it probably will. It's not exactly bringing much luck, but I can only hope that it will change. And there we go. It did change. Right there, we've got our apples. So. Let's uh, dig on into these things. Let's get them off the tree nice and quick, or at least as quick as it'll let us. And from there, 12 apples will have to be enough, because, as we all know, the uh, fruit that grows underneath the trees doesn't have an EMC value, meaning that if we need more, we are quite literally going to go and have to f go and find more, and instead of uh, duping it in the magic boxes. 
Oh, we always have one now. Purple sand. Finally, one that I can collect. Here we go. Let's drop some purple sand into the side. Like so. That's it. Nice and quick with the cannon. There we go. Oh shit, it's running long gunpowder. I should probably fill that back up. There we go. Let's just drop some of that in there. Right then, the next one it wants is chestnut fruit. Now, chestnut fruit. We it <coughs> chestnut fruit. We can get a hold of. Um, we've gotten a hold of it in the past, relatively easy. So I think this one's going to take quite a little uh, less flying around than the last one. Uh, so what do we got here? These aren't chestnuts. These are the apples that it wanted. These are the chestnuts that I'm guessing it's after. So if I silk touch these uh, chestnuts off the tree, like this. If I pull these chestnuts off, if I silk touch them off, I should be able to feed it its own supply and just hand it back its own chestnuts. Which normally you wouldn't really want to do for something like this, but considering it is fruit, it is inconsequential to the actual build, and I didn't even intentionally put it in the schematic. Well, the only person that cares is the cannon. For example, now it's begging for some orange fruit, so we better go and grab some. Where are they? And with that yawn, we mark the 19 hour mark. We've been live for 19 hours. My throat is starting to close up and swell and hurt. I have 20, it's 20 to 3 over here, which means I have less than uh, two hours before I have to go to work. Um, and we are still only in the beginning stages of the final segment of this base. We are cutting it extremely close in terms of uh, getting this finished today. But I do reckon that if we just dig ourselves deep enough, if we believe hard enough, we will get this done today. We will finish this today before I have to go to work. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. But of course, before we do all of that, we have to find the fucking oranges because I don't know where they've gone. Just found it. Yep, there we go. Orange fruit, bish bash bosh. So let's mine this up. And boom. Right then. Let's take these 12 orange fruit back to base, where the cannon should hopefully begin to place them down. There we go, and now the fucking thing's going hog wild again. Exactly what we like to see. And that is especially what we love to see, the mountain actually coming together and finally building itself up. Although it did just stop. God damn it. Okay, now it wants walnut fruit. Right. <sighs> Here we are. These are the big old bastards we want. These are the walnuts. So let's silk touch these guys. Hours up. But um bum bum but uh ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba Okay, um but for real, if I can't actually find sour up, I am gonna be stuck on this for a while. I'm gonna check the forest back here, since I haven't checked the forest back there yet. Just to make sure that I haven't missed something. But I don't think there is any soursop hanging back here. I've been streaming for 19 hours. Give me the fucking soursop fruit. I'm gonna shove it up my ass. And I'll go into space. Chestnut fruit. Chestnut fruit. Here's the solution to your chestnut fruit. I'm not looking for these stupid bullshit ass fruits anymore. I'm done.
And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, and those in between outside of the binary spectrums, that marks the end of this schematic. The fuck are you firing at? And with that ding, marks the end of the schematic. And with that ding, marks the completion of every single segment of this base from 1 through 2 through 3 through 4 through 5 through 6 and 6 2 through 7 through 8 through 8 through 9 and through 9. It is done. Aside from that piece of shit over there that needs to be fixed and that piece of shit over there that needs to be fixed. The Anadonia Season 2 base has been completely updated. So before this drags on any further at 19 hours, 33 minutes, and they're still counting 7, 8, 9, 10 seconds. We're finally finished. So, if you enjoyed this live stream from me, make sure to hit that follow button. That subscribe button, the like button, and join the Discord. Or don't. I'm too tired to care. But in case I don't see you, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. See you later, shitloads. Bye bye. And there you have it, everybody, the end of, well, it's not quite the end of an era, but it's the end of the video. Um, I have a lot of thoughts about the way this one turned out. I could spend hours sort of just rambling on, you know, the whole process of cutting it down, uh, how long it took, uh, just, but all you really need to know is, there you go, it's done. I hope you enjoyed. The unedited, completely raw live stream footage is coming out not too long after this. I, I think it should be uh, processing now as I'm speaking, um, if not already uploaded. Uh, so if you do want to go and watch the entire raw live stream, you're more than welcome to. Um, there will be an update video coming soon on just sort of where my life is at at the moment. And uh, yeah, now that this is out, a uh, video schedule should go back to normal. It wasn't supposed to pause. I'll, I'll just be straight up with you there. Um, this took a lot longer than I was expecting it to, and because of that, I sort of just stopped making videos until this was done, just so I could focus on this. Um, but yeah, now that it's done, videos will be coming out regularly. Keep an eye out for a brand new series coming out. It's not the one that you might think it's going to be, uh, but it's definitely going to be a fun one. If not for you, then certainly for me, which, you know, that's kind of the whole point of this. Um, I'm doing this to have fun, and you're just sort of along for the ride. So, yeah, that sounds a bit cruel, but it's the truth. Um, so, yeah, uh, TLDR, new series coming soon, schedule returning to normal, returning to normal, update video coming soon, and raw footage should be out any moment now. Uh, so, yeah, like I just said, in case I don't see you, Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.